All right, all right, all right. Welcome, everybody. I hope you are doing well. Uh, this is Julian Gordon here, aka Mr. Multi Family. Excited to have you here for the webinar. Um, in chat, please let me know that you can see me and hear me. Please let me know in chat that you can see me and hear me. And actually, in order to do that, um, go ahead and rep your city. Let me know what city or county you are looking to buy multi family real estate in. Let me know what city or county you were looking to buy multifamily real estate in in chat let me know that you can see me and hear me by repping your city or the county that you are looking to buy multifamily real estate in welcome 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 happy to have you beautiful all right good 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 let me know your city or your county I see Orlando in the building, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Guilford County, Philadelphia, couple of Phillies, Montgomery, Alabama. I love those smaller, non-sexy markets. New Jersey. I know New Jersey is a small state, but it's not a city. All right, cities are counties. Brooklyn in the building, Connecticut, Rhode Island. That's a small state as well. Long Island. More Orlando, Nashville, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I got some properties out there. Augusta, Georgia. Got properties in Atlanta, Los Angeles, California, Los Angeles in the building, West Coast, West Side, <laughs> Detroit, NYC, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Dallas, Fort Worth, Las Vegas. Good. So we got people from all over. This is good news. All right. So a beautiful thing is that um, in all the cities that you mentioned, I've had students who have closed in those markets. So you are in the right place by being here on the multifamily master plan webinar. All right. Now, before we go forward, I want to give you access to this worksheet. It's the webinar worksheet. Um, you should see a link below the video right now. You should see a link below the video. Um, and that is a fill in the blank worksheet. It'll help guide you through uh this process i have um uh i uh, have a lot to share in a short amount of time and so i put together this worksheet for you as a fill in the blank if you have a printer go ahead and print it out i sent it out via email in advance of the webinar um so that you can print it out if you do not have a printer please just go get a pen and paper and get ready to take notes just go get a pen and paper and get ready to take notes because uh, I'm going to be dropping a lot of gems and I want to make sure that you have something to catch them. All right. So when you are ready, type done in chat. When you are ready, type done in chat. OK. Type done in chat when you are ready. OK. And uh, we are going to get into it. We've got a lot to cover. I'm about to give you a master class. All right. good all right y'all ready to go good 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 that's great news all right beautiful um did anybody have any problems getting into uh the webinar room did anybody have any problems getting into the webinar room or is it straight i know we had some technology issues in uh <coughs> in the past and i just want to make sure that we ironed out all those kinks all right, cool. Good, good, good. Beautiful. So I'm going to welcome everybody to the Multifamily Master Plan on how to finance, find, and finalize your first multifamily real estate deal and literally start living for free. My name is Julian Gordon. I'm creator of the Multifamily Movement, and I'm so excited that you are here. Um, I have a lot to cover in a short amount of time, and I'm going to do everything in my power to translate the power of multifamily home ownership and what it can do for you, your family, and your financial future. Now, you may have seen me uh, on platforms like Earn Your Leisure, um, Revolt TV, BET, uh, MSNBC, sharing my message about how to get to freedom. And so uh, I'm excited to have uh, these platforms to share this message uh, on because it is the fastest path to you achieving financial freedom is through multifamily real estate. And I'm going to prove that to you here on the webinar. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Julian Gordon, a.k.a. Mr. Multifamily. And my purpose is to free 300 people like Harriet Tubman to pursue their purpose through entrepreneurship in multifamily real estate. My real estate portfolio of that I've built is worth $5.2 million with 15 properties with 38 apartments, also known as units or doors, that generate about 
seven thousand dollars per month in rent i built that portfolio in just eight years on the side this was not something that i was doing full time and i'm going to show you exactly how you can do the same in less than a decade okay my properties have appreciated by over 1.3 million dollars in value meaning that i bought right you're going to hear that term over and over and over while we are on this webinar i've raised over three million dollars for the buyback baton rouge fund where i'm a managing partner and i'm founder of the uh multi-family movement where i'm helping thousands of students achieve rent and mortgage freedom through multi-family real estate now this is a big one that has stopped a lot of you from moving forward on your real estate goals is that i'm not a licensed real estate agent and you do not have to be one either in order to invest in real estate in the way that i'm teaching you a lot of people think they need a real estate license to get in the game and you do not need a real estate license to get in the game whatsoever and so that does not have to be a stumbling block for, for you you do not have to go do a 75 hour class and then take a test for that class and then a test to get licensed and pay licensing fees and because you don't have to do any of that all right now i do want to celebrate all of my licensed agents that are here right now so if you are a licensed real estate agent please let me know in chat um now uh Please let me know in chat if you are a licensed agent. All right. Please let me know if you are a licensed agent. <laughs> Cool. So we got quite a few licensed agents that are here. And so for those of you who are new to the game, you have to ask yourself, why would licensed real estate agents be here on a webinar about multifamily real estate investing? And the truth is, is that what I'm going to teach you is not taught in a real estate course. It's not taught for the real estate exam. Most real estate agents are specialized in selling single family homes to American dreamers and what I'm teaching you is multi-family real estate so all of these agents are here because one they want to build their own real estate portfolio what many of you did not know is that many real estate agents don't own any real estate whatsoever they've been licensed to sell real estate but they do not actually own any real estate so they're here to build their own personal portfolio so that they can get to uh, regenerational wealth, not just active income by practicing as an agent. They want assets uh, to create passive income. And they are here because they want to know how to serve multifamily real estate investors like myself who buy multiple properties every single year instead of just one at a time. And so I want to celebrate all of the agents that are here who are continuing their education, realize that what they got for the, uh, what they had to do for the test and what they had to do, uh, what their agents or uh, agencies are teaching them uh, are not enough. And so I want to celebrate you. I also want to give you permission to call me out and chat if anything doesn't sound right. I'm giving you permission to serve as checks and balances between me and those who are just listening and new to the game. Um, if I say anything that is incorrect, all of the agents that are here, you have permission to call me out and chat. But of course, I know exactly what I'm talking about. You're here to learn from me. And so um, uh, you likely won't have to do that. Okay. But I want to celebrate uh, Josh and Erica and Couchy and Pam and Darion and Vern uh, and uh, Deanna. Anna, um, and all of those with licenses here uh, for being here and continuing their education. All right. Now, um, uh, with that, uh, I want to. I'm not going to. I'm going to be very transparent with you uh, about my real estate portfolio. I said, uh, does anybody know what the S and P 500 has returned over the past over the past 21 years? What is? The, what do you think the average rate of return on the S and P 500 is over the past five years? Any guesses? Any guesses? What has the, been the rate of return on the S and P 500 over the past five years? Any guesses? All right, the S and P 500 over the past 21 years has only returned 5.76%. The S and P 500 is a major stock market index, and um, it's only returned 5.76%. Uh, percent annually over the past 21 years on average all right so the asset class that i'm teaching you which is multifamily real estate has a th three times greater rate of return around 15 percent right than the s p 500 and it does not have the volatility that the s p 500 has a lot of you are dealing with that with the stock market right now you're seeing your retirement go down and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it right um so uh people are like well the real estate market goes down well the single family real estate market goes up and down right but multifamily real estate it is not in fact when single family real estate goes down multifamily real estate becomes even more valuable and so this is why I want to make sure that you have this in your portfolio so that you can build wealth so I'm gonna be very transparent with you uh, on this webinar um, I'm not just gonna say that I have uh, 15 um, properties I'm actually gonna show them to you these are the properties that I control at this moment in time right 
Um, and my first property was in Brooklyn, New York and bought it in May of 2013 and it literally changed the game for me, right? It literally changed the game for me. Um, I went from paying expensive rent in Brooklyn to being paid expensive rent in Brooklyn just like that with one single move, right? Which was to buy multifamily real estate. From there, I went on to uh, expand my portfolio in New Orleans, one of my favorite cities in the, no, my favorite city in the entire country. I also bought in my hometown of Oakland, California. So for those of you who are like, I want to invest from a distance or I need to invest from a distance, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. I continue to expand my portfolio in New Orleans and then ultimately, ultimately, um, Ultimately, uh, I went on to expand it even further in Baton Rouge. So a lot of you I know want to live in those sexy markets, and I'll show you how to buy in those high-cost markets. But when you're talking about expanding your portfolio, you may likely have to expand it um, in smaller, non-expensive, less sexy markets. And it doesn't matter where your money works, right? All of that matters is that your money is working. And for some of you, your money is not working sitting in a savings account, right? So my portfolio is 38 apartments, 15.9% cash on cash return, $1.3 million in appreciation. $37,000 in um, monthly rents and $5.2 million in value. Okay, so um, this is uh, this is um, this is what I'm going to teach you how to build this over time um, on this webinar. Um, I'm actually getting hold on, family. Hold on, family. One second. I'm getting emails uh, that say that people are having difficulty getting in. One second, I don't want anybody to miss this information. Let me see if I can help in any way. I know all of you said that you got in okay. I know a couple of you said you had issues. Um, I wonder what's going on. I wonder what's going on. It's all good. We may have to move forward uh, regardless. Um, but I noticed that uh, I was getting emails of people having issues getting in. So. Um, I just want to, huh. hold on one second family, I want to check something, do you mind if I check something real quick? Um, I may have to send out a, a backup link for folks because uh, I'm getting a lot of emails right now. So yes, this is live family, getting a lot of emails right now, one second, oh uh, man. One second. Apologies, family. I just want to make sure everybody gets this information. Um, one second. Give me a second. I want to make sure everybody gets this information, doesn't miss out. All right. So I just want to check really quickly if there's a way that I can get people on the webinar so that they can participate and not miss out all right thank you for your patience I just noticed I was getting a ton of emails uh, from people who were having issues getting in to the actual room so uh, please forgive me um, I don't want them to miss this information So thank you for your patience. All right. Hey, is it working? Join us on YouTube here or here. All right. save thank you for your patience family um uh, again i just got a uh i just saw a whole bunch of emails come in that people were having difficulty getting into the room so i'm sending out a backup uh link right now uh, many of you are likely going to get that uh, text message uh, right now as well so uh, thank you so much for your patience and understanding um, i do not want people to miss out on this information so uh gratitude to you all okay Cool. 
all right beautiful so let's keep it pushing so this is my actual real estate portfolio um, and uh, and this is what I've been able to build in less than 10 years now while I'm very excited about the development of my own portfolio what actually brings me even more joy is helping people get their first property and so I've been able to help uh, hundreds of people all across the country close on their first multifamily home all of these are images of my students who have closed on properties and they all started uh, exactly where you are today which is attending one of my webinars in the past and so uh, I'm so grateful to be able to have the impact that I'm able to have through teaching multifamily real estate. I was a multifamily real estate investor first, and uh, people, as I posted my closings online, people kept asking me, how are you doing this? How are you doing this? And so that's actually what led me to be a real estate educator, and I'm also a real estate developer. So. I say this with all uh, all humility, and I'm just grateful that uh, God is using me in this way um, and allowing me to live out this purpose. But you are now rocking with the best. You are literally now rocking with the best. There is nobody in this country who has helped more people close on multifamily real estate than myself. In fact, uh, here are the numbers to date. To date, I've helped 326 people and families close on multifamily homes all across the country. Um, that's about $114 million worth of real estate that my students have acquired. The total annual rents are about $11.7 million that they receive annually. And the total cash flow after taking care of principal interest, taxes, insurance, capex repairs over vacancy rate is about $3.5 million that my students collect every single year and will continue to collect forever because it is real estate. And so, yes, there is nobody that I know of at this moment in time that has helped more individuals close on multifamily real estate than myself. And so I'm so grateful to be uh, be used in this way. And I'm so grateful that you're here to get this information and uh, learn it as well so that you can get to the closing table on your first property and achieve rent and mortgage freedom. All right. So um, with that, uh, I want to ask you a question. The big question that we're seeking to answer is what's your plan to get rid of the biggest expense in your life forever? What is your plan to get rid of the biggest expense in your life forever? forever so the biggest expense that you have in life is going to be housing okay whether that is rent or a mortgage a lot of people think that home ownership of a single family home is success and I'm gonna show you that it is not and I know there are many single family buyers on here um, I'm gonna show you uh, what you've got yourself into and I'm gonna show you how to get yourself out right so for most Americans uh, their housing expense takes up about one third of all their income. Okay, again, whether that's rent or mortgage, it's still an expense. Okay, so if a household is bringing in six thousand dollars a month, about two thousand dollars a month is going out towards housing. So what I'm trying to help you do is achieve rent and mortgage freedom, which is the result of buying multifamily real estate, which has cash flow that eliminates your housing expense forever. Okay, so literally with one single decision. Okay, one single decision to buy multifamily real estate, you never have a housing expense for the rest of your life with one single decision okay and so this is the power of multifamily real estate there's no other singular decision except who you decide to marry that's gonna have a bigger impact on your financial life than you buying multifamily real estate as soon as possible why because I've only found three ways to get rid of your housing expense forever okay there's only three ways to get rid of your housing expense forever one to live in a tent two is to go to jail and three is to buy multifamily real estate okay so in chat, please let me know which option are you going to choose? One, live in a tent, two, go to jail, or three, buy multifamily real estate. Which one are you going to choose? Okay, These are the only three ways that I know of to get rid of your housing expense forever. Right. So this is obvious. The answer is obvious. Number three. Number three is going to be the best option for you. All right. Housing expenses are only going to continue to rise. In fact, the World Economic Forum, they want to get the world to a place where everybody rents everything and owns nothing, right? In Germany, did you know that only 33% of the people in Germany uh, own and the rest of the country rents? Here in the United States, it's flipped. Right now, it's 66% of people own and about 33% rent, right? And ultimately, what they want is they want uh, half the country or more to be renters, half the country or more to be renters and so what you're seeing is major corporations and hedge funds like BlackRock actually buying up single-family real estate and once they buy up single-family real estate in bulk it will never go back to individual citizens so you think we have a housing shortage now it will only get worse as companies protect their cash right from inflation through buying real estate so uh, I want you to be on the right side of history 
I do not want you to get caught up on the wrong side of history because you waited, you hesitated, and you procrastinated. All right? So um, my question to you is what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Housing prices continue to rise, right? And how is waiting going to help you? Can somebody in chat let me know how is waiting to get into multifamily real estate going to help you or real estate in general? How is waiting going to help you? Okay? It's not. It's only going to cost you. Waiting is only going to cost you more and more money. Every month that you wait to get into real estate, you are losing out on a mortgage payment or you're losing out on rent. So if your rent is actually $2,000 a month, every year you wait is going to cost you $24,000. If your mortgage is $2,000 a month, every year you wait to get into multifamily real estate, it's going to cost you $24,000. Now, well, Julian, that's going towards my principal. You already know, single family buyers, that a bulk of that money is going towards interest. It's not going towards your principal. If you look at your first mortgage payment, about 70% of it went to interest and only 30% went to principal. All right. So let's be real about the actual investment. And we're going to dig into that a little bit later for those of you who have been contemplating getting a single family home or who have already bought one. OK, so the longer you wait, what's going to happen is rents will continue to rise, which makes it harder for you to save. Right. Because your income is not rising, but rents are rising. So that means less money in your pocket. And then prices will continue to rise in real estate, which makes it harder for you to buy. And there will come a point if you do not act soon. If you continue to wait, hesitate, and procrastinate where you may never, ever own, there will come a point in history where it will be almost impossible for you to ever own unless you have a financial windfall, right? Unless you have a financial windfall. And I'm here to make sure that you avoid that. All right? So, um, <coughs> uh, so when I'm talking about multifamily real estate, what am I talking about? I am talking about Two family, three family, or four family homes. These are also known as duplexes, triplexes, or fourplexes. They only make up uh, about 18% of the entire rental supply, and there's only 2.6 million of them in the entire United States. So we're looking for a very specific rare asset when it comes to duplexes, triplexes, or fourplexes. Once you get to five units or more, that is considered commercial real estate, and that's a different lending process. So what most of you did not know, right? is that financing for a two-family, three-family, or four-family home falls under the same residential guidelines as a single-family home. The same documents, the same lender, the same interest rate, the same 30-year fixed-rate mortgage. Same lender, okay? No difference whatsoever. Again, once you get to five units or more, that is considered commercial property, and that's a different lending process. So if you buy right, Typically, if you buy a triplex or a fourplex in the right way, you can achieve rent and mortgage freedom with your first purchase. And that's exactly what I did in Brooklyn, New York, and it literally changed the financial trajectory of my life. And that is what I'm seeking to help you do. If you buy a triplex or a fourplex in the right way, it will literally change the financial trajectory of your life. If you buy a duplex, it will not get you to full rent and mortgage freedom because while you're living on one side, right, the other side is cut. The rents from the other side will not be paying enough to cover principal, interest, taxes, insurance, capex, repair, reserve, and vacancy rate. Okay, so you'll still be coming out of pocket for your housing, but it will definitely be less than what you're likely paying for rent or for your mortgage right now. Okay, so before I go forward, I want to ask for permission. If I give you some great content on this webinar, can I take ten minutes at the end to share an opportunity um, for you to consider? Can I take? 10 minutes at the end to share an opportunity with you to consider. For those, this is only for those who uh, want to accelerate their process, right? Who are really serious, who want to make this happen as quickly as possible, right? I want to share an opportunity with you all to consider. Is that cool? All right, beautiful. So I'll let you know when we get to that space, and um, I'll let you know when we get to that space, and uh, and I'll share the opportunity. Again, it's only it's not for everybody. It's only for those who really want this. If you're comfortable paying rent and continuing to pay your mortgage and continue to see housing costs rise for you, and willing to risk being stuck on the wrong side of history, then um, perfectly fine. But for those who want to move, right, literally move, pack up some boxes and move into a property that they own and that they live in for free, um, then I want to share that opportunity with you. All right? Cool. I see the yeses. All right. Cool. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I'll let you know. I'm going to give you a ton of game on this webinar. Right? As you can see, the webinar worksheet is uh, full of fill in the blanks. So I'm going to give you a ton of game. Um, so just uh, stay tuned uh, if you continue to desire to be helped uh, along this process. Okay? So um, 
for those of you who stay to the end, I'm going to be giving you a list of 147 down payment assistant programs. This is my way of saying thank you for showing up. You didn't show up here for me. You showed up for yourself, for your family, and for your financial future. And I simply want to celebrate that. I would simply want to incentivize you to continue to do that more and more and more. So I'm going to be giving everybody who stays till the end of the webinar. The webinar technology will let me know who stays till the end. I'm going to give, be giving you a list of uh, my 147 down payment assistance programs that I researched. Here you see Idaho, Illinois. It's organized by state. Idaho, Illinois, um, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas. Okay. So a lot of some of these are literally uh, $5,000 grants, right? $5,000 grants in your pocket just for you being a first-time buyer. Some of them, if you take a landlord class, they'll roll the closing costs into your loan, which means less money out of pocket for you. So uh, I've researched all the down payment assistance programs that I could find, and I'm literally going to give that to you for staying till the end of the webinar, okay? It's all part of my ebook, which is the Beginner's Guide to Multifamily Real Estate Investing. And um, this normally costs $47, but I'm going to be giving it to you for free for staying to the end and for hearing uh, the message. Right. So um, that's my way of saying thank you for showing up and I appreciate you. OK, so we are about to go in uh, for real, for real. And um, and so what I need from you is I need you to be fully present. I know some of you are trying to cook, cook meals. Um, you're watching your favorite show. Uh, you're trying to help kids with homework and things of that nature. You're trying to do too many things at once right now. I need to say this. There is no conversation in your life that is more important than the one that we are about to have. Unless somebody is being born in your family or somebody is dying in your family, there is no conversation that is more important than the one that we are about to have. So I need you to get fully locked in. I need you to be fully present. I need you to go lock yourself in a closet. If you have distractions around you, you may even decide to go in the car in the garage. You may decide to pull the car out of the garage and go park around the corner. Right. But whatever you have to do to be fully present so that you don't miss anything that I say, I need you to do that right now. OK, this is not the time to be distracted. OK, this is not the time to be watching uh, any sports or your favorite sitcom or anything like that, uh, or even scrolling on social media while listening to a webinar. Literally every gym that I'm going to drop is going to be valuable to you. And I do not want you to miss anything. All right. So if you are locked in, type locked in. If you are locked in, type locked in. If you are locked in, type locked in. I just need to know if you're distracted, type distracted. If you're distracted, type distracted. Okay, it's time to go in, family. So um, I need you to lock in. All right, cool. Y'all locked in? Then let's do it. So, um, how many of you saw my uh, viral real estate poem? Um, <laughs> I dropped it on the Earn Your Leisure Invest Fest stage uh, last year, and it started it started going a little bit viral on the internet and so uh, if you missed that and you haven't seen it then um, I'd like to open up this webinar with that poem okay <clears throat> it looks like more people are coming in now uh, thank you for your patience everybody who was here uh, on time uh, I know there were some technology issues I don't know what's been going on with the webinar technology but thank you for your patience thank you for those who had the persistence to keep on trying and uh, just excited to have you here all right so with that I want to uh, open up with the multifamily poem why don't we hack houses like frat houses where everyone living good for just a few thousand? Some will say it's lousy while they slaving proudly, spending one third of their revenue to pay for housing. Living on your own but you don't own ish. Can't even get a loan, student debt is up. Thinking a high wage is the way to get rich. Not if your living expenses rise directly with it. Trying to keep up with the Joneses deep in debt to you croak. I'ma live just like the Jeffersons pretending I'm broke. Then I'll buy a multifamily let the rents pay the note. Perhaps you could be my tenant, yo, that would be dope. I keep my cost of living low along with my blood pressure because if you always stress and it's hard to enjoy pleasure the man with the most is not the one who wins the race it's the man with his soul who can look at his own face 40 acres and a mule is what they taught us in school I'd rather have 40 apartments and a big money pool leverage credit to capital and capital to cash flow cash is not king because the interest too low some call me a do-gooder I got good deeds in my name as a lord of my land I'll never be a slave you can dabble in stocks lose your shirt and your socks but the demand for housing will never ever stop Assets, assets, assets. Passive, passive, passive. These are the two keys to amass wealth quick. But quick is really relative. It's a long-term game. Who you hustling for? Your first or your last name? Bars. <laughs> Bars. You like that? 
You like that? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yes, so every line in this poem is packed with wealth consciousness, right? Um, and where you are on your journey from poverty consciousness to wealth consciousness, you might not have grasped everything. For instance, you've been taught that cash is king. You've been taught that cash is king. Cash is not king. Cash is actually pawn, right? When it comes to building wealth, assets are queens. Queens give birth to kings, which is cash flow, and kings lead to pawns, which is cash. What Nipsey Hussle say? We're playing chess, not checkers. And in the game of chess, you will happily sacrifice a pawn to acquire another queen, right? So what that means is that you would sacrifice cash, which many of you think is financial security, but it's actually financial insecurity, right? And you actually will sacrifice cash to acquire another asset or queen. So when you truly understand the game, you realize that the game is not about the accumulation of cash. It's about the circulation of cash, right? For those of you with cash in your bank accounts right now, you're dealing with inflation. The cash you had literally is losing value every single day due to inflation. In fact, last year, it lost between 7 to 10%, all because you didn't use it. You didn't invest it into assets. Your buying power has decreased. On top of that, your Bank of America savings account is only giving you a 0.03% interest rate. Using the rule of 72, 72 divided by 0.03 is 2400. That means it'll take you 24, it's called the rule of 72. It means it'll take you 2400 years to double your money in a savings account. 2400 years to double your money in a savings account. How crazy is that? You think you're going to get wealthy when it's going to take you 2400 years to double your money? The asset class that I'm teaching you, which is multifamily real estate at the bare minimum, has a 12% cash on cash return. So 72 divided by 12 is six years. So which would, you, which would you rather, to double your money every six years or to double your money every 2,400 years, right? It's a no-brainer. And if you understand the power of compound interest, you will realize that that is a huge difference in the wealth that you're going to create, right? So many of you don't understand these financial principles, and so we actually have to start with the mental real estate first. I know you want me to teach you multi-family real estate from A to Z, but what I've learned after teaching this for a long time is that uh, it's the mental real estate that blocks people. They don't understand what an asset is. They don't understand how worthless cash is. And so they want to hoard on to cash because they think that's financial security, but it's actually financial insecurity. Because if you truly had financial security and wealth consciousness, you would realize that I need to put all of my cash beyond my emergency fund into real hardcore assets, tangible assets that cash flow, that appreciate and give me tax benefits. That's what multifamily real estate does. Okay? Now, a lot of you think that slavery is over because there's no chains anymore, right? There's no shackles anymore. But slavery is not gone. It is simply adapted, family. Okay? We're dealing with what I call modern-day slavery. In modern-day slavery, it is mental and it is monetary. It is mental and it is monetary. What do I mean? Did you know that the U.S. dollar is 75% cotton? Did you know that the U.S. dollar is 75% cotton? So what does that mean? That means that most of you are still out here on the corporate plantation every single day picking cotton and you didn't even know it. Yep, the U.S. dollar is 75% cotton. So you thought that slavery was over, yet you were still picking cotton for your master every single day. And every two weeks, you get a little ration of the cotton that you picked. It's flat green cotton, family. So slavery hasn't gone anywhere. It's literally just adapted itself. A lot of people celebrated July 4th. A lot of people celebrated July 4th, Independence Day. Whose independence and whose freedom were you celebrating? Most of you had to go back into bondage the day after. Whose freedom were you celebrating on July 4th? My Independence Day was January 9th, 2009, when I left the corporate plantation and stepped into walking in my purpose full time. That's my Independence Day. July 4th is not your Independence Day. 78% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. We're quote unquote in the land of the free, but most Americans are not free. So whose independence and freedom were you actually celebrating on July 4th? Let's just be real. Okay? So we have to get very clear about our situation, and that's what I hope I'm making you present to. And there is a way to freedom. Harriet Tubman was the number one conductor on the Underground Railroad. She freed over 300 people over the course of a decade by making 19 trips below the Mason-Dixon line. I am the number one conductor on the Above Ground Railroad. The Above Ground Railroad is multifamily real estate. 
I freed over 300 people through multifamily real estate. Okay, I'm the number one conductor on the above ground railroad. She is my inspiration. Okay, so are you going to stay on the plantation or are you going to run for freedom? That is the question that you have to ask yourself. Some of you would rather prefer predictable bondage than to actually go after freedom. At least I know how my master going to treat me. At least I know. I don't know what's out there when it comes to freedom. I don't know what it means to go after your dreams. I don't want to fail. I'd rather stay in a abusive situation than to go out, pursue my dream, and potentially fail. With what I'm going to teach you about multifamily real estate, you will not fail on this path. <laughs> but you have to make the decision that this is what you truly want. Some people don't want freedom. That's what I've had to come to realize. You can't free everybody. When Harriet Tubman first made her first trip, her brothers went back. They turned around out of fear. Some people talk a good game about how they want to be free, but the reality is they actually don't want it. They'd rather stay in bondage, stay living small, stay in what they think is their comfort zone, but they're really not happy. I've tasted freedom. And I want as many people as possible to taste what I've tasted. And so this is why I've come back to teach it. Okay? So let's get into myth number one. Myth number one is that I can't afford it. This has been the number one blockage that has prevented many of you from getting into the game. Is that you believe that you can't afford it. But the reality is, is you don't want to use the word I can't because you then cut off the horsepower of your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is more powerful than your conscious mind. Okay, your subconscious mind is what operates 24 seven. It's what keeps your heart beating in the middle of the night. It's what keeps your lungs breathing in the middle of the night while your conscious mind is asleep. But when the conscious mind says I can't because it has executive power, it can literally turn off the subconscious mind. So what do you ultimately want to do? What you ultimately want to do is you want to pose a question to the subconscious mind is how can I afford it? Once you pose a question, then the subconscious mind will work to find an answer 24 seven. It will seek an answer nonstop until it finds one. So you, this is how you tap in to the creative juices in you. Okay. So many of you have told yourself that I can't afford real estate. So you cut off the creative power in you because you've already made a decision that you can't. But if you ask the question, how can I afford to get into real estate? Then all of a sudden you're looking for opportunities. And in fact, I want to celebrate everybody that's here right now because something happened over the past seven days. Whenever you sign up for this webinar, right? That said, I can do it. How? You may have seen me in your news feed on Instagram or YouTube, wherever. You may have seen me for over three years now. But because you weren't ready, because you believed that you couldn't do it, you just kept on scrolling. But something changed in your spirit over the past seven days that said, how can I do it? And then I showed up again and again and again. And you finally said, I know I can do that. I see all my friends closing. I see all these people on Instagram closing. I see all these people building out portfolios. They're no different than me. They're no better than me. I know I can do it. The question is, how can I do it? And I showed up in your feed again. I showed up in a converse. My name came up in a conversation again, and you were here. So I take this moment seriously. For me, this is divine intervention that you and I are here right now. Because you could be anywhere in the world and I could be anywhere in the world doing anything else. But we are here in this moment right now. And I'm going to do everything in my power to transmit the power of multifamily ownership and what it can do for you, your family, and your financial future in this short amount of time that we have. So I want to thank you for being here. I celebrate you. Uh, for me, this is divine intervention. This is a sacred moment. And I'm going to do everything uh, in my power to honor it and, and honor you. Okay? So... Let's break down this myth that has stopped many of you from getting in the game for a long time that you can't afford it, okay? That you can't afford it. Um, so <clears throat> a lot of you think you need a lot of money to get in the game, and it's not true. It's not true, family, and I'm going to prove it to you. This was my W-2 from 2012. What year did I close on that property in Brooklyn, New York? What year did I close on that triplex in Brooklyn, New York? For those of you who are here on time, I closed in 2013 so guess what this w2 in 2012 where i only made thirty six thousand dollars in my business this is my actual w2 if i move this black square a rectangle excuse me you would see my social security number i only made thirty six thousand dollars in 2012 and i still bought a triplex in brooklyn new york how sway how sway 
How many of you would like to know how I bought a triplex in Brooklyn, New York in 2013, May of 2013, with only $36,000 of taxable income? How many of you want to know that? So as you can see, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to show you. So I got started in multifamily real estate when I wasn't making a lot of money. I got started in New York City, the most expensive market in the world. I got started while I was an entrepreneur. For those of you who are self-employed and think that this can't work for you, yes, it can. And I got started within three years of an economic recession, right? So this is the power of multifamily real estate, and I'm going to show it to you right here and right now, okay? How does this work? How did I do it? You have to understand how real estate is financed, okay? Most of you have no clue how real estate is financed. You look at a fourplex, you look at a triplex, and you just think, I don't have enough money to pay for that. I can't even buy a single family home. Well, I have some news for you, okay? Everybody get your mind blown emojis ready. You know the one with the brain going out the head? Get that ready, because watch this. If you were to buy a pink, this pink single family home in New Orleans, what the lender will do is they will look at your W-2 income, in this case is forty thousand dollars and they'll multiply that by about six to pre-approve you or pre-qualify you so you typically can get pre-qualified or pre-approved for about six times your w-2 income that's just the back of the envelope number there's other factors that apply like the consistency of your income and your credit okay so that's for a single family home here's where your mind blown emojis come in this is going to rock your world okay and this is actually what's been stopping you from getting in the game here is a pink fourplex that I actually own in New Orleans, okay? So imagine that in each unit, the rents are $1,000 a month. So that's $4,000 a month in rent. Listen to me very carefully. What you did not know is that the lender will give you credit for 75% of the annual rents that you were going to receive once you close, and they will add that to your income today. I'm gonna repeat that. The lender, when under doing the underwriting will actually give you credit for 75 percent of the rent the annual rents that you're going to get once you take control of the property and they will add that to your w-2 income today so let me explain to you four thousand dollars a month of rent times 75 percent is three thousand dollars a month three thousand dollars a month times 12 months is thirty six thousand dollars watch this family the lender when going through their underwriting they will add that thirty six thousand dollars to your forty thousand dollars of w-2 income and now they will qualify you based on $76,000 worth of income. So now 76 times six is $456,000. So literally because I bought a multifamily, I qualified for almost twice as much real estate than if I were to take the same exact W-2 income and go get a single family home. I hope y'all caught that. I hope y'all caught that. Did y'all catch that? <laughs> That'll change the game for you right there. Forever. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. This is what it stopped you. So listen to me very carefully, y'all. It is actually easier. It is actually easier to buy a multifamily home than it is to buy a single family home. I'm going to repeat that. It is actually easier to buy a multifamily home than it is to buy a single family home. How crazy is that? See, nobody would have told you that. Everybody wants you to get caught up in the American dream. I'm going to show you how that's a trap in just a second. All right. Now, not only is it easier to buy a multifamily home, there's also something else that a multifamily home offers that a single family home doesn't. If you have a multifamily home, a fourplex, and you're living in one unit and you're getting rents from the other three, who is paying your mortgage the entire time? Let's just say for a 30-year mortgage, who is paying your mortgage for 30 years? Your tenants, right? So even if something happens to you, right? You lose your income, you end up with a mental illness or a physical disability, right? Even if something happens to you, guess what? Your mortgage is still being paid by the other three tenants. Now, if you have a single family home and something happens to you over the course of 30 years, you get divorced, you lose your income, you have a physical disability or a mental illness, and a lot of things can happen in 30 years, right? Who is there to help you pay your mortgage? 
Let me bring in a special guest to help you with that answer. Nobody. 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 Who can give you what you need? Nobody. <laughs> Come on, we gotta have fun on the journey to freedom, y'all. Nobody is there to help you with your mortgage payment. Nobody. So not only is it easier to buy a multifamily home than a single family home, it's also easier to keep a multifamily home than it is to keep a single family home. Okay? This is the power of multifamily real estate. And this is what nobody has taught you as they pushed you to pursue the American dream. All right? So, my question to you all is, how many of you have been pre-approved? How many of you have been pre-approved and how many of you uh, have not been pre-approved? If, you type, if you've been pre-approved, type me. If you have not been pre-approved, type no. If you have not been pre-approved, type no. If you have been pre-approved, type me or yes. So, it looks like about 90% of you have never been pre-approved. So what that means is that you are sitting on the sidelines watching everybody else play and you haven't even asked to get in the game. It costs you absolutely nothing to go get pre-approved. It literally takes you about 90 minutes to submit the paperwork that you need to get pre-approved. All you have to do is go into the bank where you have your check-in or savings account, ask for where the mortgage department is. They're going to give you a list of documents like W-2s, your tax returns, your bank statements, which they should already have, right? Proof of income. And within 72 hours, they're going to give you back a number that they would qualify you for based on your financial picture. Well, Julian, um, will they pull my credit? Up to five lenders can pull your credit in a 30-day period without it having a negative impact on your credit. But you're so afraid of having your credit score go up two point, go down three points that you won't even go get pre-approved. So many of you have no clue how a lender would actually see you. See, I know some of you feel like you've made financial mistakes and that you've been bad stewards of money. And so you have a negative perception of yourself financially. You don't believe that you're a good steward. But the, the reality is, is that I don't care how you see you when it comes to this process. All we care about is how the bank sees you. And the bank will actually have a greater, likely have a greater perception of you than you would have of yourself. The bank might be willing to lend you $400,000, but you wouldn't lend yourself $10. Why? Because you are borrowing against a physical, tangible asset, which is multifamily real estate. The bank is not going to lend you $400,000 for your business, your 10-page business plan, and you have not even created the product. No. But when it's backed by physical real estate that they can liquidate if you ever were to miss mortgage payments, they're willing to lend you a lot more than you could have even imagined. But some of you have not even gotten to the game because you've been afraid. You've been watching from the sidelines. You thought it was too expensive. And so my challenge to everybody that's here is to go get pre-approved. That is my homework assignment. In the next 72 hours, I need you to go get pre-approved. How many of you accept that challenge? Go get pre-approved. Don't ask me what bank to go to. Go to the bank where you have your checking or savings account. Yes, there are ways to make lenders to compete for your business. And the way I teach my students, they typically go to three to five lenders. Okay, but just for the next 72 hours, I need you to just go get pre-approved and see how one bank perceives you and sees you because many of you are going to be surprised by the number that you get back. One of my students, uh, Sandy, she said, I now have three pre-approval letters, one for 500,000, one for 415. And the last one I got this morning is for a VA loan for $700,000 for the newbies in the group. Do not skip steps. See. She got a range from four hundred and fifteen to seven hundred thousand dollars. Each lender saw her differently. Some of you are going to go to one lender and feel like you're ready to give up, but we never. One lender's perception of us is not universal truth. One lender's perception of us is not universal truth. Some of you have taken yourself out of the game because of what one person told you, what one lender told you, what one agent told you, what one friend told you. But in this game, we always verify by going to at least three equivalents. 
And this is what Sandy did, and she got a range of pre-approvals from 415 to $700,000. 700 is more than enough to buy multifamily real estate in her market. Okay? So that is my homework for everybody who is here within the next 72 hours is to go get pre-approved and see how the lender sees you, not as you see you. I don't want to hear the excuses. Just go do it. Some of the lenders are going to say your credit is too low. Do we give up? No. We go fix our credit. Some of your lenders are going to say you need more income. Do we give up? No. We figure out how to increase our income. Some of you just ready to give up off of the first obstacle, off the first no. Okay? That is not how we operate. We continue to knock on doors until we get our doors. We continue to knock on doors until we're the one knocking on doors to collect rent. Right? So I encourage you not to give up. Right? And I encourage you to go get pre No, I don't encourage you. I challenge you within the next 72 hours is to go get pre-approved. Okay? Now, some of you believe that you can't make the monthly payments. Now, when it comes to a multifamily home, guess what? You aren't making the monthly payments. But the reality is, is even if you were buying a single family home, do you realize you've been paying a mortgage this entire time that you've been renting? The entire time you've been renting, you've been paying a mortgage. You pay rent to a landlord. The landlord takes that money and pays their mortgage. So you've been paying the landlord's mortgage the entire time, right? It's just not yours. You've been paying a mortgage for years now. It's just not yours. So why is it that you think once you start owning something, that you may have difficulty paying the mortgage when you've been paying rent on time every single month like clockwork for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. That doesn't make any sense. That's a psychological issue that you can't see yourself being the one that's collecting rent. You have a perception of yourself as the one who will always be paying rent. And so we have to change that perception in your mind, not anybody else's. That's your self-perception. You see the possibility of this business model for others because you've been paying rent to others for so many years. But you have difficulty seeing yourself being the one that's actually receiving the rents. These are rent checks. These are actually um, money orders. This is rent from this month that I collect every single month. I've been collecting this from her for years now. Okay? So this is the mindset stuff. And so, again, it's the mental real estate that blocks people. It's the mental real estate that blocks people from getting in the game. It's not just the tactical play-by-play, -play, A through Z, one, two, three. It is the mental real estate. And I actually want to show you an example of mental real estate, okay? This is the email I got from somebody. She said, Julian, I love your online seminar, and I really wish I could join, but being a single working mom right now is what's preventing me from pursuing my dream. At this time, I pay $1,200 a month for nine years, which is insane for rent to a slumlord who never fixes anything, and if he does, it is used, okay? So... First and foremost, I want to stop at the victim consciousness. And there are three words that jumped out at me. And the three words were single working mom. Now, this is probably the card, crutch, or excuse that this individual pulls out every time they're not ready to show up. Every time one of achieving one of their goals gets too hard, they pull out this card. Now, there's probably single working moms on this webinar right now. And I want to celebrate you. You're here right now. Um, you could be resting, right? You probably have mouths to feed. And I understand. It's not easy being a single working mom. In fact, I don't understand, okay? I don't understand, right? But if I can find, here's where I'm not gonna let you off the hook. If I can find five single working moms who still have managed to acquire multifamily real estate despite that title or that identity, then we know that your excuse is not valid. If I can find five single working moms who've acquired multifamily real estate despite that distinction, right, despite it, then your excuse is not valid, right? Now, this is not about single working moms. We all have them, okay? How many, I want you all to fill in the blank there. What is your crutch? What is your card? What is your excuse that you pull out every time an obstacle in front of you seems too big and you just want to call it quits? How many of you, type me in chat if you have an excuse, a card, or a crutch that you pull out when you're not ready to show up. Type me in chat. And it's all anonymous, so you ain't got a lie to kick it. Nobody knows who you are. Nobody can see your face. How many of you got a card, a crutch, or excuse that you pull out? We all have one. We all have one. Oh, my dad wasn't there when I was growing up. I didn't finish high school. I didn't finish college. I'm divorced. I got three kids. I got a mental illness. I got a physical disability, right? Yeah. Y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? And so I have to say this. 
out of tough love, which is you cannot hold on to being victim and also become a victor at the same time. Those are two different vibrational frequencies. You cannot be a victim and also be a victor at the same time. At some point, if you want to be a victor, you're going to have to let go of the victim consciousness that you have. You cannot have both. Okay? You cannot hold on to sympathy and achieve success. And I know some of your parents coddled you. It's okay, baby. I know your daddy wasn't there when you were growing up. I know this happened to you when you were younger. It's okay. You can continue to play small in the world. My mommy still loves you. I know some of you had parenting like that. But I'm here to push you and challenge you and say that you are bigger and greater than whatever happened to you. You are bigger and greater than whatever happened to you. Now, let me explain to you psychologically why some of you continue to play victim in your lives and make excuses for everything. Why your life isn't the way it is. And all of your excuses, you notice they're all external. It's blaming this person, this institution, this thing that happened. All the excuses are external. You haven't looked in the mirror. But the reason some of you play victim is because the only time you got attention as a kid is when you were hurt. When you got a boo-boo, when your knee was bleeding, or you got sick and you couldn't go to school. You got all kinds of love and attention. All the attention and energy was on you. And for some of you, that perverted your mind. It perverted your mind. And you held on to that. And now you've carried it into adulthood. And you play victim because you get attention from being victim. It's okay. People come to console you and comfort you and agree with you and empathize with you. You get attention from being victim. Yeah, we're getting real red couch right now, family. And I'm here to let you know that you're going to have to let that go. If you want to achieve the highest heights in your life, you're going to have to let that go. This is mental real estate. This is mental real estate. This is what I know blocks people from achieving everything that they're capable of achieving. Okay? So if you're ready to let it go, type let it go. If you're ready to let that excuse go, type let it go. Type let it go. If you agree to not pull that card out of your pocket ever again in this moment, type let it go. If we don't achieve anything else on this webinar, if the technology crashed right now, if the internet went out right now, if I got a few people on this webinar to let it go for the rest of their lives, I would have done my work for the day. I dare you not to pull out that card ever again. I dare you never to use that excuse ever again. I dare you to never lean on that crutch again and see what happens in your life. I dare you. It's going to be convenient to pull it out in certain situations, but I dare you to never use it again. Let's see how many of you have the courage to do that and take 100% responsibility for where your life is and why it is where it is. Because every time you blame, you are empowering whatever it is that you blame. You blaming that man, that woman, that institution, you're basically saying, I need to wait for them to change in order for me to have the life that I desire. You were giving it or them too much power. I need to wait for America to change for me to have black boy joy. I need to wait for America to change for me to have black girl magic. No, I'm going to sit in it and stand in my black boy joy right here and right now, regardless of external situations and conditions. Once I made up my mind that that was the case, then the world started adapted in me instead of me adapting to the world. How many are you ready to live at that level? Okay, this is mental real estate. Now, I know some of you are, in, I've seen some people in chat. Julian, can you just get to it? Listen, if whoever typed that, I don't know who typed that. If you have not helped, how many people have you helped close on multifamily real estate? If you know more about teaching real estate than I do, then why are you here on this webinar? Why am I not on your webinar? I'm just, I just got to be real. I know what I'm doing. I've been teaching the A to Z, and when I started teaching, it was just straight A to Z. Here, here's the information. Here's how you do it step by step. And not everybody was getting to the finish line. And then I realized that it was not just about the A to Z. That there was mental real estate that had to be developed first before people could actually even take action and get to the finish line. People have limiting beliefs and blockages about what's possible for them. 
If you are already advanced and you are already on your way, my question to you is why haven't you closed on a home yet? If you're beyond all the mental real estate stuff, you feel fully developed already. You've taken care of your temple first. You built your temple. Why haven't you closed on a home yet? You're trying to coach me on my webinar about how to close on real estate when you haven't closed on any real estate. And not only have you not closed on any real estate, you haven't helped anybody else close on any real estate. You are talking to. I am the number one conductor on the above ground railroad. There's no individual or institution in this country that has helped more individuals close on multifamily real estate than myself. And you're trying to coach me on how to teach real estate? Get out of here with that. That doesn't make any sense. So fall back. Humble thyself. And I'm saying this with humility. I'm not arrogant. I'm saying this with humility. Humble yourself. You came to learn from me. So don't come here and try to teach me how to teach. Unless you have more results than me in terms of your own personal portfolio and how many other people you've helped build their portfolio, then you are in no position to teach me how to teach real estate investing. Hmm. Okay? And I say that with love, family. I say that with love. All right? Cool? So let's keep moving forward. Now let's look at this person from a financial perspective. This person has paid $1,200 a month in rent for nine years, right, to a slumlord who did not care about her or her family, okay? That is equivalent to $129,000 that has gone to another family, $129,000. Now, how do you know that this person was in victim consciousness? The reality is that at least only lasts for one year, but she's been here for nine years. After one year, she could have got on Craigslist or Apartments.com and found another apartment, but she stayed for nine years even though she knows that this landlord does not care about her or her family or our community whatsoever. That's how you know she was in victim consciousness. Now, some of you are looking at this number, $129,000, and you're like, that's crazy. But if I honestly had you add up all the rent that you've paid or the mortgage interest that you've paid and the property taxes that you've paid, some of your numbers would be equivalent to this. It would actually make you sick. The number one reason you are all missing commas or zeros to the left of the decimal in your bank account is because of one reason. It's housing. It's your housing expense. If we could literally just do that one thing, get rid of your housing expense forever, it would literally change the financial trajectory of your life forever. In fact, in chat, go ahead and type in how much you pay in rent or mortgage right now. Type in how much you pay in rent or mortgage. Type in how much you pay in rent or mortgage right now. Let me know in chat. How much you pay in rent or mortgage? Let's, let, I want to see something real quick. Mm -hmm. All right. I see 1850, 1361, 971. 2500, 1600, 1590, 1650, 2400, 2k, 20. Yeah, a lot of y'all got rent increases recently. I know. 1300, 1500, 1400, 1300, 1100, 1500, 1650, 3k, 1535. Oh my goodness. Yep, rent increases are in full effect. So, watch this. Y'all want to see something? Watch this. I'm just do a quick calculation. Let's say that the average is uh based on what we saw is 1400 times the number of people on this webinar. You want to know how much money we pay in housing expense collectively every single year? Just us on this webinar? $12.6 million. $12.6 million. Just us on this webinar right now. $12.6 million in housing expense every single year. Just us. Literally going out to other families every single year. I know that number makes you want to throw up, right? You could, we need to be collecting that $12.6 million, not giving it to other people. And this is how you do it. All right? So you have to acquire multifamily real estate. That's the only way to get rid of your housing expense forever. All right? So with that, what would, and let me know in chat, what would change for you if you never had a housing expense for the rest of your life? If just with the snap of the fingers, with this one single move, you never had a housing expense for the rest of your life, what would change for you? What would change for you if you never had a housing experience for the rest of your life? Everything. Freedom. Pursue my purpose. 
start my business, save more, invest more, travel, spend more time with family, take care of my elders, quit my job, right? These are all the things that would change for you. Everything would change for you if you could literally just get rid of your housing expense. Your housing expense is not going down. It's only going to go up, which is going to put a greater strain on you. And so this is the only way that I know of to get rid of your housing expense forever. So real quick, how many of you all can tell that I'm coming from a place of love? I need you to know that before I go forward. Otherwise, um, what I say might trigger you. How many of you all can tell that I'm coming from a place of love? I see generational wealth. I would homeschool my kids. Okay. How many of you had a coach, a mentor, a teacher, a parent, a sibling, a best friend, significant other who pushed you using tough love to do things that you do not want to do in the moment, but in hindsight, you're so grateful for them? How many of you had somebody like that in your life? Good. Good. Now, I know some people have never had that before, and it's sad because I my prayer is that you have somebody like that. I hope that I can be that for you when it comes to your real estate journey. Um, but not everybody's ready for that kind of push and that accountability. They want to be coddled. Okay, they want to be baby. All right. So um, I just wanted you to know that I'm coming from a place of love. Love being the noun, tough just being the adjective. How I actually give love because I realize that that soft stuff doesn't work. Okay. So get ready. Buckle up because this is going to be a wake up call for some of y'all right now. For those of you who are renting, if you are a renter. You are homeless. If you are a renter, you are technically homeless. You don't have a home. Yep, you're homeless. You don't have a home. You might call it my house. You might call it my apartment, but it's not your house and it's not your apartment. You're not on the title and you're not on the deed. So you're technically homeless. Okay, you might have a lease, but you're still homeless. Now, there's a spectrum of homelessness. There's this man who's sleeping on the bus bench and there's you who's renting an apartment right you're still on the spectrum of homelessness now this man who's sleeping on the bus bench probably dealt with childhood abuse probably dealt with physical abuse mental illness drug addiction okay has no food no money no family no friends no job no education okay all he has is the clothes that are on his back here you are with a thousand dollar computer or a thousand dollar phone you have all this education you have a Good job on the corporate plantation. You have people who love you, family and friends. You got clothes on your back. You got a roof over your head. You got food on your table. Answer me this. How is it that this homeless person owns as many properties as you do? Zero. How is it that this homeless person owns as many properties as you do? Please make that make sense. How? So the next time you pull up to a stoplight and you see a homeless person asking for money, you need to roll down your window and you need to say, you know what? I'm homeless too. He might look at you crazy. What you mean you're homeless too? I actually don't have a home. I actually don't own this car. In fact, some of you here, all you own is some clothes, some furniture, and some electronics. Some of you here, all you really own is some clothes, some furniture, and some electronics. That's it. Okay. So it's time to move different. You're not that far off from that homeless person. In fact, that homeless person has no debt. Some of you have negative net worth. Student loans. Things of that nature. I'm going to show you how to get out of those student loans. But some of you have negative net worth. That homeless person has a higher net worth than some of you. So you're in no position to give that at homeless person no matter how much guilt you feel. You are in no position to give to that person at this moment. You want to give from your abundance. You want to give from your passive income, not from the income that you need to get free. All right. Now. Sorry, somebody had to say it. Somebody had to say it. I just needed you to get really present about your situation. I'm not sugarcoating anything. This is tough love. It's going to rub some people the wrong way. It's going to rub some people the right way. What I'm here for is that the people who it's rubbing the right way. Who are like, yo, I can't stand this. I'm more than capable. That's what I want you to feel. I'm not trying to put you down. I'm trying to lift you up. I'm here to light a fire under your assets. I'm here to light a fire 
under your ass at. Not ass. Your ass sets. That's what I'm here to do. Okay? If it's get what Nelly say, it's getting hot in her. It's getting hot in her. How many of y'all feel the fire? Give me give me some flames. Throw some flames in the chat if if you feel it. <laughs> if you feel in the burn. If you feel in the heat. If I'm bringing it, let me know in chat if you feeling it. All right, cool, cool. That's what I do. Yeah, I'm a calm, I'm a calm spirit. But when it's time to, when it's time to speak, when I know I can change somebody's life, I, I turn that joint up. I turn that joint up quick. All right, so zero to hundred real quick. All right, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now. For all my single family buyers, you're not safe on this webinar either. It ain't safe, it ain't safe, it ain't safe. See, most of you single family buyers got caught up in the American dream, and the reason they call it American dream, right, is because they had to rock you to sleep to get you to believe it. They had to rock you to sleep. Rock a bye, baby, on it. They had to rock you to sleep, okay? So, let me explain to you. What do I mean? Single family buyers, do you know that the word mortgage literally means death pledge? If you take the prefix, which is mort, as in mortician or mortuary, it literally means death pledge. So you happily signed up for a 30-year death pledge and you didn't even know it. 30-year death pledge. Julian, why do you call it a death pledge? Well, here's why. Because most of you are still working jobs you hate on the corporate plantation. And the only reason that you haven't left is because you're afraid of missing one single mortgage payment. So you're dying slowly on the corporate plantation because you're afraid of missing a mortgage payment. The easiest way to retain an employee for 30 years is to help them get a mortgage. The easiest way to retain an employee for 30 years is to help them get a mortgage. How crazy is that? Now, you want to know what's even more crazy? Is that some of you, this is the psychology of modern day slavery. Some of you bought homes to be close to the plantation so that you could respond to master as quickly as possible. You know, if master texts me at 3 a.m. And, and master need me for something, I got to be able to get to the office quickly. So I'm going to buy a home close to the plantation that I'm trying to escape. What? Some of y'all bought houses to be close to the plantation, to be close to master. You know, I don't, if master need me, I want to get there quickly. You know, I don't want to be too far from master. Master put food on my table. I'm, stop me when I'm lying. Okay, so think how close did you buy your home to your job? Like you were planning on being at the plantation for the, your entire life, right? <laughs> John says, "Stop talking to me about me like that." Now let me break this down, family, single family buyers, right? You thought you were doing something, and it's a trap. It's a trap. The truth is, is that you don't own the home. HGTV says, congrats, you're a homeowner. That's a lie. You're not a homeowner. You're a home buyer. A homeowner and a home buyer are two different things. The truth is, is that the bank buys your home and then it rents it to you for 30 years. You thought you were grown and sexy. Look at me. I'm not paying rent anymore. I'm growing up. I'm adulting. That's a lie. You're not paying rent to a landlord anymore, but you're paying rent to the bank to use their money. When you rent the bank's money, you are paying interest. Renting the bank's money is called interest, okay? The interest on a $300,000 home with 3.5% down at a 4% interest rate is $208,000, okay? So you are paying the equivalent of rent of $578 per month. You're still paying rent. It's just not to a landlord. It's called interest. And that does not include your private mortgage insurance, your property taxes, your homeowner's insurance, and what everybody forgets is maintenance. Yeah, when you need a new roof, Where's that $10,000 coming from? You can't go get it financed. It's got to come from your retirement. So now your house, your single family home is a money pit. This is why so many elders have to downsize because once they get to fixed income, once the property taxes have gone up, they can't actually afford that home even after they paid off the mortgage because their income has dropped to fixed income, yet the property taxes continue to rise. They still have to pay for insurance. So at no point does a single family home ever pay you, family unless you sell it at no point does a single family home ever pay you unless you sell it 
Okay, this is the trap. Okay, so now let's move forward to down payment. Down payment. A lot of people are like Julian. Well, I can't save up for the down payment. Well, what's crazy about it is that 78% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. So this is not a color-based thing. This is not a race-based thing. If 78% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck, that means a lot of white people are also living paycheck to paycheck. So I'm here to free anybody who wants to be free or who does not feel free. This is about a group of people in power willing to uh, intentionally seeking to oppress and hold down anybody who does not know their own power. And I'll prove it to you. You think America is about race? No, it's not. They just use race to divide the lower class folks. Here's how you know. When white people were fleeing Europe, who were they running from, family? When white people were fleeing Europe, who were they running from? They are running from other white people. They are running from other white people. So this has nothing to do with race. This has to do with power. And there are folks in this country who will oppress those who look like them in addition to those who don't. This is why so many people are not free in the land of the free. Again, just celebrated 4th of July. Just celebrated 4th of July. Whose independence were you celebrating? It wasn't yours. If you had to go back to the corporate plantation to a job that you hate the next day, then you weren't free. You got a day off, and on any day off, you need to be working on your dreams. Any day off, you need to be working on your dreams. But some of you decided to chill and relax. But thankfully, you're here now. Okay? So we're working right now to get you free. So that next 4th of July, so that next 4th of July, you actually can say, I'm truly free. Right? Not I'm celebrating somebody else's freedom, but I'm actually truly free. All right? So, I got some good news for you, family. I got some great news for you, by the way. All right? Did you know that you don't need a lot of money to get started in multifamily real estate? Or real estate in general? Did you know you don't need a lot of money? Watch this. There are programs out there that are no money down, no down payment, no closing costs, no points or fees, and no credit score consideration. Zero. But a lot of you just didn't know that they existed. So because you didn't know, you've been stuck and kept out of the game. Your intellectual property can get you physical property. What you know, right, your intellectual property can get you physical property, but some of you don't know enough. So this is why you have no physical property, even though if you would have known, you could have been in the game a long time ago. It's really about who you know and what you know. OK. This program in particular is called NACA, N-A-C-A dot com, N-A-C-A dot com. Go ahead and write that down. No down payment, no closing costs, no points or fees, no credit score consideration and below market 30 year and 15 year fixed rates. OK. So your excuse of I can't afford it, I've literally wiped that clean. You can never use that excuse again. I wiped it clean. I never want to hear it again. How NACA finances is they take how much you've been paying in rent consistently over the past um, three months. So let's say you've been paying $1,200 a month in rent for the past three months, right? And then on top of that, you're able to show them that you're able to save an additional $3,000. So 1200 plus 300 is 1500 And they will give you a mortgage for the equivalent of $1,500 a month. No credit score required. So all of you have been like, oh, my credit's too low. NACA doesn't take your credit into account. They take your behavior into account. Okay? So what's beautiful about this, if you think that this is not possible, um, I'm going to show you some examples. Okay? This is Gloria. Gloria bought a triplex in Philadelphia. Single mom, by the way. Okay? I closed on my first triplex July 1st in Philly through NACA. I was approved for 480000 with 1.5% interest. Asking price was 520 Offered 510 Seller paid 2% closing costs for me to close on the property. And I walked away only paying for title fees. I'm still in disbelief. Disbelief. All she paid to get a triplex in Philadelphia were title fees. Y'all want to know how much title fees are? Title fees are the equivalent of a pair of Jordans or a round trip flight from New York to Los Angeles and back. Title fees 
will be anywhere from $300 to $600. That's it. She bought a triplex for $300 to $600. So some of y'all have been using the excuse, oh, Julian, I just ain't got the money. I'm living paycheck to paycheck. No, you're not. Stop lying. Because if I had the same income as you, I would have figured out a way to adjust my life to make sure that I escaped my situation. If I look at your bank statements over the past 90 days, can I find $300 to $600 wasted? Some of y'all blew $300 to $600 on Independence Day, on fireworks, on meat, on picnic stuff, on alcohol, going out to dinner, dates, the outfit, the parking, the Uber, the appetizers, the meal, the dessert, the activity. I can find $300 to $600 in almost all of your bank statements wasted over the past 90 days. You could have been in a triplex. But you want to continue to tell yourself the story that, Julian, I'm living paycheck to paycheck. I don't have it. No. Your priorities are not aligned. You're not living paycheck to paycheck. Your priorities are not aligned. And so just be honest with yourself. Look in the mirror and say, I don't want it, Julian. I'm living my best life. No, you're not. But, you know, you say, YOLO, you only live once, Julian. I'm going to just live it up. Uh, I'm not about that long-term thinking. Just be honest with yourself. Say, I ain't ready for that yet, Julian. I want to just live in the moment right now. Okay? Now, you think this can't work in high-cost neighborhoods? Lewis bought a million dollar property in Brooklyn, New York, and all he paid was $4,790. If I told you you could get a million dollar triplex in Brooklyn, New York, all you had to do was pay $4,790, would you figure out a way to make it happen? Would you figure out a way to make it happen or would you make excuses? You would change your behavior, you would budget, you would save in order to make it happen. But these are the actual numbers. They're right here in front of you. The house was $899,000. NACA gave him a $119,000 construction loan. And all he came out of pocket was $4,790. This is the power. This is the power of knowing. This is the Royal family. They bought a, uh, they bought, this is the first family that I helped close on a multifamily property. And um, they bought a fourplex in Los Angeles right near USC. It is appreciated like crazy since they bought it. And um, yes, uh, and they use a mixture of Airbnb and regular rentals. This is the first family that I helped. So I always got to tell their story. All right. Now your next option is the government's FHA program. Next option beyond NACA. So NACA is if you have low income or you have bad credit. You want to go through NACA, okay? Your next option is the government's FHA program. Government's FHA program is 3.5% down. So on this $300,000 property, all you'd have to do is put down $10,500 to take control of this property. This would be the down payment, okay? So that's the government's FHA program, all right? So here is why. Here is why you buy... Um, Here's why you buy your multifamily first and not your single family. Because some of you just say, Julian, I just want to get my single family first. Then I'm going to start investing. That is going to be an uphill battle. Okay. So here's exactly why you buy your multifamily first. If you buy a single family first, you put 3.5% down. You use FHA on a $100,000 home. Again, I'm using that $100,000 just for easy math. Okay. That's $3,500 down payment. Look, I got a house for $3,500. Okay. But then you come to this webinar and say, Julian, now I want to invest, be a real estate investor. Little did you know is that when it is a non-owner occupied purchase, meaning that you're not going to live in it, it'll be 25% down. So 25% down on a $300,000 property is $75,000. Okay. So the total down payment is $78,500 for the two properties. Now watch this. Everybody go ahead, get your mind blown emojis ready because I'm about to rock your world. Watch this. This is the power of knowledge. Just knowing things. I'm, I've, I've dropped some things on you here and here. You don't need a real estate license, right? I share with you how they finance multifamily homes by giving you credit for 75% of rents. You simply didn't know those things, right? You didn't know that there were no money down programs out there. Watch this one, okay? Get ready. Watch what happens if we simply just change the sequence. Watch what happens to the total down payments. If you put 3.5% down on the multifamily first, that's only $10,500 out of your pocket. Then after living there for one year, which is the FHA requirement, then you put 25% down on your $100,000 single family. That's $25,000. You add those two down payments up, that's only $35,000. So literally, you acquired the same exact two properties for less than half the down payment. 
all because you went the proper sequence. There's a sequence to success. And some of you don't know it. This is why there's so many single family buyers here who were pursuing the American dream. And now they might feel stuck. But I'm going to show you how to get unstuck. But literally, all we did was change the sequence. We got the same exact two properties with half the effort. You know how much longer it's going to take some folks to save up another $43,000? If you save $1,000 per month additional, that's going to be another four years to acquire the same two properties. All because you went the wrong sequence. All because you went the wrong way. You went backwards because you didn't know. This is the power of knowledge, family. Okay? So this person is well along on their real estate journey because they knew which sequence to go through. Now, all my single family buyers, please type 625. All my single family buyers, please type 625. All my single family buyers, type 625. So the reason I'm having you type that because there are six ways to reverse yourself out of that situation. Only two of them require you to sell, and there are five ways to use FHA twice. So you're not stuck unless you choose to be. Hopefully, you built equity in your single-family home. We can leverage that equity to scale your portfolio. So you're not stuck unless you choose to be, okay? So I'll talk about that a little bit more later on, all right? So again, single-family buyers, you're not stuck unless you choose to be. There are six ways to reverse yourself out of that situation. In fact, here's what um, uh, Hadi said. He just closed. How he said close on a uh, four unit property on 3222. And yes, I did go from a two family to a four family. I used FHA on both, but the first FHA was refinanced to conventional in 2020. Okay, so how to use FHA twice? People are like, you can't use FHA twice. I have living proof right here that you can use FHA twice. Okay, so if you already use your FHA loan as a single family buyer, there are ways to use it again. There's actually five ways to use FHA again so, uh, that, so that you can take advantage of another low down payment. All right. So here's the play that I'm teaching you all to run, all right, for, especially for the renters. Single family buyer, I'm going to come back to you in just a second. So right now you're renting $1,000 a month. You pay that rent to a landlord. That landlord collects that, um, that $3,000 for that triplex, and then they pay their mortgage of $1,500, right? They pocket the other $1,500. They use that for their single family mortgage or for their lifestyle. And now you want to do the exact same thing that I did in Brooklyn, and you want to buy a triplex, okay? You do that. Just like that, all of a sudden, now you're living for free. You get rent from units three and units two, like I did in my triplex in Brooklyn, New York, right? But guess what? I'm not just living for free and getting rents from the third and second floor. I'm also no longer paying rent anymore. So that's actually $1,000 that's back into my pocket. So I take that $3,000 and I pay my mortgage, right, of $1,500. And now I'm living for free, plus have $1,500 in positive cash flow, right? All with one move, just like that. I went from negative one hundred one thousand dollars a month to now living for free and having positive fifteen hundred dollars cash flow. Now, after living there for one year, which is the FHA requirement, you move a tenant into your unit. You move out. That's three thousand coming from this property, right? Plus the one thousand of you no longer paying rent anymore. So that's four thousand dollars, right? You take fifteen hundred. You pay this mortgage. You take fifteen hundred dollars. You pay this mortgage. Now you have a multifamily, right? That is paying you, right? You have your single family that you've been dreaming of and desiring, right? And it's paid for by the rent from the multifamily, and you have a positive cash flow of one thousand dollars. So you went from negative one thousand dollars paying rent about 10, twelve to fifteen months ago, and now you're at positive one thousand dollars in cash flow, and you have two two properties, four doors, two properties, four doors, two properties, all in twelve to fifteen months. Okay. The first property, which many of you did not know, literally, some of you are less than 90 days away from closing on your first property. Some of you are less than 90 days away from closing on your first property. How do I know? Because look, Kai, she closed on her first duplex in three months to the date. She started August 12th, closed on November 12th. Linda started October 13th, closed on November 14th in 31 days in Pensacola, Florida. Sparkle closed on a four family in Florida in less than three months. Taisha closed on a four family in Baton Rouge in less than three months. Brian closed on a fourplex in New Orleans in less than three months. Some of you are less than three months away from closing on your first property and you did not know that when you showed up on this webinar. So I want to celebrate you. Those who are really serious and want this, I'm letting you know how close it is. Imagine being enslaved, right, on a plantation for 40 years. You just picking cotton. And now you're on your deathbed and somebody taps you on your shoulder and says, hey, guess what I just found out? 
I just found out that the Mason Dixon line is right there on the horizon by that tall tree. You literally in Maryland. You right below the Mason Dixon line this entire time because you didn't know it. You never ran for it. You just kept picking cotton. And now you're on your deathbed. Well, guess what? I'm here to tap you on your shoulder and let you know that the Mason Dixon line to rent and mortgage freedom, it is closer than you think. It is literally less than 90 days away for some of you who are here. Type me if you if you bout that life. Type me if you a runner. Type me if you a runner. Okay? How many of you about that life for real? I'm literally telling you, it's 90 days away for some of you who really, really want it. But I know there's still doubt. Some of you are like, oh, is this, is this really, really possible? I'm, I'm showing you countless examples. I'm giving you the blueprint. Okay? So if you're really, really ready, right? Like Brian, like Taisha, like Sparkle, like Linda, like Kai, I can show you the way. I am the number one conductor on the Above Ground Railroad. There's nobody who has helped more people close on multifamily real estate than myself. Now, I don't drive in Lamborghinis or anything like that. So for some of you looking for like the flash to, to show you how wealthy I am, I, I don't operate like that. I have a Tesla and a Honda Accord. Okay. I don't operate. I don't show my wealth. In fact, most wealthy people don't show their wealth. Okay. I'm letting you know that this works though. I'm showing you the results of my students, not my balance sheet. Actually, I showed you my balance sheet. I showed you all the properties that I control. Literally, here are all the properties that I have to date. I built this in less than 10 years. Okay? That's $5.2 million portfolio that you're looking at right there. Okay? All because of the knowledge that I'm giving you right now. But it all hinges on you buying this first property right. All it hinges on you having the courage to say, no more rent. No more mortgage. No more single family home. You have to have the courage to say that. It goes against the American dream and what you've been taught and programmed to believe. But once you get the first one, then it's like a domino effect and you're going to want more and more and more. And that's exactly what happened for me. Okay? So now let's go over some of the multifamily math. You know, you don't have to be a, a mathematician or a whiz in math um, in terms of multifamily real estate. In fact, uh, it's probably junior high school math. It's junior high school math, okay? So don't get bugged out. Um, but there's the one single number that's the most important number in multifamily real estate investing, and it is actually cash on cash return. Cash on cash return. Now, to all my real estate agents that are here, is cash on cash return on the real estate exam? To all my real estate agents, is cash on cash return on the real estate exam? Is cash on cash return on the real estate exam? Let me know. Answer is no. Cash on cash return is the most important number in multifamily real estate investing, and it is not on the real estate exam. Okay? This is how you know that the formal training, many of you are relying on real estate agents to guide you through this process. The formal training of real estate agents does not prepare them to teach you what I'm teaching you. This is why there's so many real estate agents that are here right now on this webinar. Okay? So, let me share with you what cash on cash return is so that you can make a more informed decisions. Okay? So, if I'm going to sell, if I'm selling this ATM machine and I only have one of them, I'm selling it for ten thousand five hundred dollars, and the monthly cash flow is one thousand ninety dollars. Would you give up or go get the money? Please let me know in chat. This ATM machine, I'm selling it. I only have one. I'm selling it for ten thousand five hundred dollars. The monthly cash flow is one thousand ninety dollars. Would you give up or go get the money? Please let me know in chat. Give up or go get the money. Let's see. Would you give up or go get the money? See, a lot of you are hesitating right now. You have no clue whether this is a good deal or not. And so, you don't even know what to type. Ed Lee. Ed Lee is the first person to type, get get it. Ed Lee type first. I only have one, y'all. The contract's gone. Ed Lee got it, family. Ed Lee got it. He typed first. So, Ed Lee, congrats. You have the contract now. Now we can go into due diligence and underwriting. All of you who are still typing, it's too late. You were too slow. You were too slow. You didn't know how to calculate cash on cash return. Ed Lee got it, family. I don't know what y'all still typing for. The contract's gone. Ed Lee got it. I only had one. This is not like Toyota Camrys where they have, they have hundreds and thousands of red Toyota Camrys. These are individual, unique properties. No piece of real estate is... Very few pieces of real estate are identical. Okay? 
So once the contract is gone, it's gone. Ed Lee got it. So I just want you to feel for a second the cost of you not knowing how to calculate cash on cash return. The cost of you hesitating, procrastinating, and waiting. Many of you still haven't typed anything in yet, even still now. Because you don't know. And so you missed out on a great deal. Okay? So let me share with you what cash on cash return is on this particular deal. $1,090 a month times 12 months divided by $10,500 is 124% cash on cash return. I shared with you earlier that the S&P 500, the, uh, one of the major stock market indexes, the annual rate of return over the past 21 years has only been 5.76%. So you literally missed out on a great deal because you didn't know how to calculate and do some junior high school math in terms of cash on cash return. Ed Lee, move first. I don't know if Ed knew the equation. I don't know if Ed saw that in 10 months I get my money back and the rest will be profit, right? I don't know what he saw, but he moved quickly. And the rest of you missed out on this hypothetical situation. This was a hypothetical situation and y'all still hesitated. Okay? So this is how you calculate cash on cash return. Okay? Now, while this was a hypothetical situation, I want to show you my ATM machine in real life. Here it is. It's the same duplex that I showed you before. $300,000 with 3.5% down, that's $10,500. Same as the ATM machine. The rents are $3,200. I've been collecting rents from this building for uh, several years now. $1,600 per unit. Okay, So that's $3,200. The mortgage is $1,259. The taxes and insurance are $335. The CapEx repairs are in vacancy rate is $515. So that leaves me $1,090 every single month like clockwork. This is my ATM machine, family. You've been driving past ATM machines on your way to work, on your way to pick up your kids from school, on your way to the grocery store, but you couldn't see them because HGTV has taught you to look at real estate for the aesthetics and the beauty. I'm teaching you to look at real estate for the asset and the business that it is. You've been driving by ATM machines, but since you didn't know how to calculate cash on cash return, you kept driving by. You kept driving and didn't even look back. Okay? So you have to understand the most important numbers in multifamily real estate investing. You don't need cash on cash return for a single family home. But for multifamily real estate, that's the only way you know if something is a deal or not. Okay? So answer me this. What other business can you buy for $300,000 with only $10,500 down, get finance for the other $289,000 in 30 to 45 days, have that business immediately cash flow, right? And succeed with minimal time, effort, or experience? Please let me know. What other business fits this criteria? Absolutely. There are none, family. There are no other businesses that allow you this much leverage where you can get $289,000 worth of leverage off of $10,500 investment simply by emailing some documents to your lender. There's no other business that operates like this. This is why this has to be the first asset in your family's name. Okay. Now, when you are evaluating multifamily real estate, I gave you a simplified version of cash on cash return, but it's actually more complex than that. When you're buying a single family home, there's only three numbers that you look for. How much do we get approved for? We got approved for $400,000. How much is the home? It's uh, $390. And do we like it? Yes or no? Okay. Three factors. When it comes to multifamily real estate, there's actually 23 numbers that you need to know to evaluate a multifamily real estate deal effectively. 23 numbers. Okay. What you're looking at is the purchase or pass deal analyzer. This is a financial model that I built out that I use to evaluate every single real estate deal that I do. As you can see here, it tells me what the cash on cash return is after I put in these 23 numbers. I know what these numbers are. I know where to find them. I know how to find them quickly. And I know how they actually impact the deal. Okay. And down here, it tells me whether I should purchase or pass on this deal. Right. I don't make emotional decisions when it comes to real estate investing. I only make economic decisions. You have to take all emotion out of it. HGTV teaches you to look at real estate from an emotional standpoint. This is not what this is about. This is about making economic decisions. All right. So this is the purchase or pass deal analyzer. I see some folks asking, can you uh, get this? No, I do not give this away for free. This is only available to my students. Uh, when you use this, you will literally never make a mistake on a real estate uh, investing deal. Okay. You leave out one single number on this purchase or pass deal analyzer or you don't verify it. You could literally step into a bad deal. So cash on cash return is a little bit more complex than the ATM machine that I ATM machine example that I gave you, but I just want to show you how I actually evaluate deals and the thoroughness you need to do due diligence to make sure that you're buying right. Okay? So I run the numbers really quickly. 
in 10 minutes, right? You'll learn how to do it a lot faster. Um, you'll uh, text my agent, the number that works for me, and I have a signed purchase agreement in within 30 minutes. See, y'all out here, you on Truly and Zillow, you over here hearting stuff and putting stuff in your favorite folder. And like, oh, look at this nice living room. I love the open concept. I love the double islands and the sink in the middle and the stainless steel appliances. Oh, I love the furniture. If I bought this house, I'd buy the furniture in the backyard. I can imagine us having parties out here. What are you doing? Talking about, I'm going I'm to come back to this on Saturday. What are you doing? My offer is in within 30 minutes and you're over here saving stuff and bookmarking stuff. How are you going to compete against somebody who knows as much about real estate as I do? And you're over here playing at this lower level. What are you doing? This is why you keep getting beat out on deals. When you come back to that listing on Saturday on your weekend off the corporate plantation, right? What does it say? It says pending, under contract. And then you're mad. Who should you be mad at? The person who's more educated than you about real estate investing or yourself for not getting educated? Who should you be mad at? Yourself for not getting educated or the person who is more educated than you? Deals do not last. Listings last. Deals do not last. But you're looking at the wrong things. So stop imagining yourself in my living room. Stop imagining yourself having birthdays in my backyard. Stop imagining yourself in my master bedroom. Stop. You missed out on the deal. Ed Lee got the deal. I got the deal. Because we moved quickly. We didn't hesitate. We didn't wait. And we didn't procrastinate. Because I know what I'm doing. I know how to move quickly and move with confidence. This is what you need in order to succeed in this real estate marketing environment that we're in. Okay? So I'm going to get into myth number two. Myth number two is that you feel you missed your opportunities. It's too late for me to get involved in real estate. Well, housing prices are only going to rise, which makes it more expensive for you whether you, uh, if you're renting. So the sooner you get in real estate, the better. Okay. So it's not that you miss your opportunity. In fact, in multifamily real estate, you create opportunities with the way that you see and that you structure deals. Okay. A lot of people think that, oh, interest rates are rising. And I missed out. Well, interest rates are still at a historically all-time low. In October of 1981, interest rates were as high as 18.63%. That's three times what they are right now. So we're deal, all we've done is return to pre-COVID interest rates. So interest rates are still historically low. You might have missed out on the 2.65% in January of 2021, right? But interest rates are still relatively low in comparison to what they've been over the past, what is this, 40, um, uh, 47 years, okay? So you didn't miss out because interest rates have risen. They've just gone back to a normal level, all right? Now, let me show you the cost of you continuing to allow interest rates to go up, okay? If you continue to allow interest rates to go up, here's what happened. This same property that I showed you at a 3% interest rate, the total interest paid on that mortgage will be $165,000. So you're literally going to pay $455,000 for a $300,000 property, okay? Because you had to finance the house. But watch this. If you allow the interest rate to increase by 2%, 2% doesn't sound like a lot, right? But if you allow the interest rate to increase by 2% to up to 5% from 3, watch what happens to the total interest. Total interest will be $290,000. That's literally $124,000 more for the same set of bricks. You're literally, because you procrastinated, you hesitated, and you waited, and you allowed the interest rate to continue to go up, you're going to pay $124,000 more for the same set of bricks. This was in your control. If you would have just learned the game and got in as quickly as possible, you would have locked in a lower interest rate. But you allowed them to increase, and now it only is going to cost you more to get in the game. Right? This is real money, family. This is not hypothetical. This is real math. When you know how to run the numbers, this is going to be the cost to you for hesitating, waiting, and procrastinating. All because you let an interest rate that you don't control to increase over time. So I'm encouraging you to get in the game as quickly as possible because the longer you wait, the more costly real estate is going to become. Okay? So you also have to learn how to see the opportunities. You know, I call this HETV foolishness. A lot of you watching HETV, I tell my students they cannot watch HETV, they can only watch JGTV. Okay? They cannot watch HETV, they can only watch JGTV. Right? Because HETV will literally tell you to do the opposite of what I'm teaching you to do. Okay, your first investment property will not look like anything that you've seen on HGTV. Your first fourplex will not look like this, family. I wish it did, but this is a luxury apartment. Okay, it will not look like this. 
we typically shop for B class properties that are in the middle. This is an A class property that you're looking at right now. Then there's C class properties, which are like in the hood. We're looking for properties that are in the middle. Okay, so I want you to let go of these ideas from HGTV just for a time being. We can get to our HGTV home once we have enough multifamily properties, but right now you need to let it go and you need to lock into JGTV. Okay, so I say screw the property brothers. All right, I'm your new property brother with an A, and I'm gonna keep it real with you about real estate. Right, this is about guaranteed cash flow, not granite countertops. This is about guaranteed cash flow, not granite countertops. Some of you are so fixated and enamored by granite countertops and stainless steel appliances. Why would you make a $400,000 decision based on a $1,500 countertop? Yeah, that's all a granite countertop costs, $1,500 with an undermount sink. Why would you make a $400,000 decision based on a $1,500 French door stainless steel detachable refrigerator? That makes no sense whatsoever. So HGTV has you looking at, for these buzzwords and at the bells and whistles, but they don't actually teach you to look at the true financial integrity of the building or the actual integrity of the building from a foundational standpoint, from a structural standpoint. They don't show you that, okay? They rather look at the bells and whistles so then they can have a refrigerator commercial right after they show you the stainless steel appliance, okay? So... You have to uh, you have to change the lenses through which you look at real estate. This was my first property in Brooklyn, New York, and if I would have went into it with HGTV eyes, I would have walked out. Okay, there's no gentrification gray paint here. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That repose gray from Sherman Williams, right? Linen white. Look at my kitchen, for mica countertops. No granite countertops. Look at my appliances, white appliances. No stainless steel. If I would have went in here with HGTV criteria, I would have walked out. What I came to realize is that my first home was not my dream home. But it made my dreams possible. My first home was not my dream home, but it made my dreams possible. Again, if I would have walked in here with HGTV eyes, I would have walked out and I missed out on an opportunity. This property is appreciated by over four hundred thousand dollars, all because I could see the asset that it was and not looking for the bells and the whistles. With four hundred thousand dollars in equity, I could buy all the stainless steel appliances that I want. I could change out all the countertops that I, I want. I could paint the whole building if I wanted to with that amount of equity okay but some of you are looking for those things right now and those are not the things that make a property valuable okay so you need to decide which side of the equation you want to be on you're going to be a single family HGTV buyer that's looking for granite countertops or you're going to be a multi-family real estate investor that's looking for guaranteed cash flow you're going to be a single family HGTV buyer that buys based on emotions or you're going to be a multi-family investor that's buying based on economics are you being looking for your dream home are you going to look for an asset that will pay for your dream home are you looking for a finished basement or are you looking to start building wealth? You need to decide which side of the equation you want to be on. And if you trust me, if you follow me and you become a multifamily real estate investor, I can get you your single family home, dream home that you desire once we have enough doors. I didn't get a single family home until I had over 20 doors. Okay? This single family home that I'm in right now, I own it free and clear. I don't owe any debt on it. Why? Because of my multifamily real estate portfolio. Yeah, I actually own this home free and clear. No debt whatsoever. Just bought it. Okay? This is the power of playing this game over time. But some of you are so fixated on the American dream and trying to keep up with the Joneses and your peers. Oh, we need to get our single family home. No, that's not what you need to do. You need to build wealth. You need to be a, buy an asset that will pay for your dream home. You do not need your dream home yet. Okay? Now, when it comes to... The multifamily map, you have to know where to find deals. A lot of people say, Julian, what websites do you go to find deals? I don't go to websites. Okay? Truly and Zillow are where multifamily real estate deals go to die. Mass market listings regularly command a 30% premium to off market deals. Why would I want to ever pay a 30% premium? Okay? So, how do you find deals, Julian? I find off market deals. How do you find off market deals? I find off market deals through relationships, through actual human beings. Through actual human beings, family. I have a real estate Rolodex of multiple real estate agents, wholesalers, contractors, lenders, other property owners, family and friends, all looking out for deals for me. Okay? Yes, I said multiple agents. A lot of you want to sign an exclusive agreement with one agent. Why would I ever want to limit my search in a city to the eyes and to the network of one single agent? I have multiple agents looking for properties for me, and whichever agent brings me the deal, that's who eats. See, when you understand your power in this game, right? When you understand your power, it actually opens up possibilities for you. But some of you limit yourself because of your lack of knowledge. 
okay and so you have to understand the game at this level so that you can get to the finish line which is the closing room okay so i have off-market deals coming to me via in social media text message email every single day i have off-market deals coming to me and i run the numbers quickly and i evaluate if i'm going to take action or not right you have to know how to play the game we look at multiple deals every single day in order to find the ones that we are looking for and once we find one we got to move like ed lee and we got to be aggressive and make our offer quickly because there's going to be another person who understands the game at this level who you're now competing against and it becomes a function of time and some of you will move too slow because you're hesitating waiting and procrastinating and you will continue to lose in this game if you do, if you do that okay so um this is one of my students gabrielle said congratulations ronique did you find this on zillow he said no i found it through a real estate financial broker who knew a whole seller okay this is a relationship game real estate is a contact sport right and so you have to build your real estate rolodex this is not just about relying on websites when you rely on a website that's being lazy okay when you rely on your real estate agent to send you listings you're being lazy listings and lazy listings means you're being lazy okay in fact most real estate agents don't know the difference between a real estate listing and a real estate deal we're not looking for real estate listings we're looking for real estate deals and most real estate deals aren't listed most real estate deals are not not listed Okay, because they're off market. That's where you get them below the actual price, right? You get value. When you have the hookup at a store, how do you get the hookup? You get the hookup through a friend who works there, through a relationship. And real estate works in the same way. So you need to develop what I call the four eyes of real estate. Okay, first set of eyes is eyes for the market. How do you know if a market is expanding or contracting based on what you see with your eyes and what you see from the data? What data points are you actually looking for when you're entering into a market? Then you have to have eyes for the neighborhood. I've identified 33 signs of gentrification. You typically want to buy in a neighborhood that has 10 to 15 signs of gentrification and is moving towards 33. So I bought in uh, Brooklyn, right? And I bought in what was known as do or die bed -Stuy. Yep. In 2013, I bought in a neighborhood called do or die bed -Stuy, right? Why? Because I saw the wave coming from Manhattan to Dumbo. What Jay-Z say? I could have bought a building in Dumbo for like $2 million. Today, it's worth like $25 million. Guess how I'm feeling, Dumbo? right he saw the wave and he just didn't act so he missed out on 23 million dollars then it came then it's coming to clinton hill right fort green clinton hill right um then uh stuyvesant heights then best i saw the wave coming and so i bought here while the wave was here okay and now that wave is past bedside it's all the way out in east new york headed towards jfk and that's how i've gotten four hundred thousand dollars of appreciation off of my first property Yes, I said $400,000 off of almost half a million dollars of appreciation because I bought right according to the 33 signs of gentrification. Okay? You know what some of them are. Bike lanes, right? Yoga studios, coffee shops, right? Dumpsters. You know what some of the signs of gentrification are, but you have to know what they all are so that you can see the patterns. It's all pattern recognition. The same patterns I saw in Oakland, or the same patterns I saw in Brooklyn, or the same patterns I saw in New Orleans, the same patterns I see in Atlanta. It's the same pattern, and you want to get ahead of the pattern. You want to get ahead of the curve, okay? <clears throat> then you have to have eyes for the property. This is the multifamily real estate investor workbook. And um, in here, I have a tool called the property value assessment. When I go into the properties, I'm not looking for granite countertops or stainless steel appliances. I'm looking for these 40 signs of hidden value and these 30 signs of hidden cost. In this workbook, this has all my mindset laid out, all the tools that um, my students use. It's all laid out here. I know this by heart, right? I know this by memory, but this all laid out here. This is what I'm looking for when I go into a property. I'm looking for an extra bedroom. I'm looking for usable attic space, right? These are some of the signs of hidden value that I'm looking for to see if I can actually get a deal, right? So you have to be able to uh, look at the property with the right set of lenses, not based on what HGTV has taught you to look at. Then finally, you have to have eyes for the deal. There's typically three ways to structure any real estate deal based on the deal that you found, and you have to know which play is actually best for you, okay? So you've heard me say this over and over throughout the webinar, buy right, buy right, buy right. What does that mean? Buy right. I want to give you the actual criteria and show you example. So buying right is three criteria. One, that there's built-in equity upon purchase, meaning that you're paying less than the property is worth. Okay. The second one is that there's at least 12% cash on cash return. Right. That means that your money is doubling every six years using the rule of 72. And then th three is that there's definite appreciation potential based on the 33 signs of gentrification. So let me show you an example of a property I bought in my hometown of Oakland, California. All right. So in Oakland, California, I bought this property in November 2017 for $480,000. Okay. 
um, it immediately appraised for five hundred and five thousand dollars while under contract. So I'm already up twenty five thousand dollars in equity right out the gates. So that's the first criteria. Then, of course, because of the strong rent in Oakland, California, I'm definitely getting over twelve percent cash on cash return on this property. And then when I reappraised it to refinance at the lower interest rates in twenty seven months later, it appraised at seven hundred and ten thousand dollars, seven hundred and ten thousand dollars. So listen, family, because I bought right, because I know what I know. I'm up $230,000 in 27 months with no major repairs. I'm up $230,000 in equity alone. That does not even account for the cash flow that I've been getting since I've controlled this property. I'm up $230,000 in 27 months with no major repairs, almost a quarter million dollars because I bought right. This is how you have to train your eyes, family. Literally, I just showed you two properties where I'm up $630,000 in net worth and equity because I know what I know. Okay, this is the power of multifamily real estate investing and how it works. So a lot of you are relying solely on your real estate agent to guide you through this process. But again, most real estate agents are in their business of selling single family homes to American dreamers. So they don't understand what cash on cash return is. They don't understand the difference between a real estate listing and a real estate deal. In fact, I get posts in my group sometimes like this says, beware, just had a conversation with a real estate agent I've known since junior high school. Tell me you can't buy multifamily with the FHA loan. That's a lie, family. That's a lie. Okay? So real, getting a real estate license is one of the easiest licenses to get. So you cannot hand over the biggest financial decision of your life to a real estate agent just because they got licensed. No, you cannot just hire your cousin because she got her real estate license last week. No. You can only work with real estate agents who own multifamily real estate themselves or at least understand the difference between a listing and a deal and can calculate cash on cash return. Otherwise, a real estate agent will say, hey, I found another deal for you and it's not really a deal because they don't even know. How do you know it's a deal? Well, uh, it came on the market yesterday. No, it's only a deal if it means that I'm buying right, that there's built in equity, that there's uh, that there's definite appreciation potential, that there's a 12 percent cash on cash return. If you don't know how to evaluate those things, then you don't know if it's a deal. So you have to be very careful, family, with uh, your agent selection. Um, otherwise, you could be being led by somebody who's all about their commission and not about you building generational wealth. A real estate agent will sell you whatever you're willing to buy. They are not your financial advisor. They're not committed to your financial freedom. That's not what they're there for. They're there to help you buy whatever you decide to buy. So you actually need to be smarter than your agent. You evaluate the deal and then your agent is the one who executes on it. That's the difference. So stop giving over the biggest financial decision of your life to somebody else. This is your responsibility to understand what you're doing and what you're buying and making sure that you're buying right for your, yourself, for your family, and for your financial future. Okay? So um, last but not least, um, myth number three. Okay? I need to pay down my debt first. A lot of you think that oh, you need to pay down your debt first and be debt free before you can actually get into real estate. Um, I have student loans. That's probably stopping me from getting the game. But again, many of you have not even gone to get pre-approved. So you have no clue how your student loans might be impacting you. In fact, there's federal law and legislation out there that's actually um, minimized the impact of student loans on your uh, ability to buy real estate. Okay. And so uh, if you want to understand those laws, you realize that your student loans haven't been blocking you this entire time. All right. So the re truth of the matter is that you need to buy an asset that will pay down your debt first. You need to buy an asset that will pay down your debt first. You don't need to pay down your debt first. OK, see a lot of you on that Dave Ramsey plan and you, you want to be debt free and you want to ring Dave Ramsey's little bell. Look at me. I'm debt free. But I have big news for you, family. Listen to me very carefully. Debt free does not mean that you are financially free. Debt free does not mean that you are financially free. Because of all your income is still active income, meaning that you're trading time for money, then you are not financially free. Financial freedom is when your passive income is greater than your cost of living. And right now, most of you have no passive income whatsoever. Most of you are in the business of selling time for money. And it's okay to start there, but ultimately you have to take some of the cash you're getting from active income and turn it into passive income. Okay? And so this is how you get free. I got fully free. The first property will get you to rent and mortgage freedom. I got fully free around having 10 units. Once I had 10 units, my passive income from my real estate portfolio covered all of my expenses, and now I was 100% free. Okay? In fact, you don't even need a million dollars to be free. All you need is for your passive income to be greater than your cost of living because then you can step out the game if you choose, right? You can, you can stop 
make an active income if you chose at that point i don't encourage you to do that right but you could step out the game if something happened to you all your living expenses will still be paid for by your assets instead of you busting your ass your assets is covering everything that's ultimately what you want to do okay so a lot of you have a negative relationship to debt because you have bad debt there's a difference between bad debt and good debt bad debt is debt that you have to pay back so a single family home mortgage that's bad debt credit card debt that's bad debt student loans that's bad debt okay but there is such thing as good debt good debt is when you take out debt to buy an asset that creates cash flow that pays back the debt and leaves you with money also takes care of your rent also gives you tax savings there's no other asset that you can live in family you can't live in your cryptocurrency you can't live in your nft you can't live in your stock market portfolio okay but this is an asset that not only produces cash flow and tax savings for you but also gets rid of your biggest expense in life which is housing so this is the power of multifamily real estate in this one singular play and again if you run this play it'll change the financial trajectory of your life okay so how many of you have student loans? How many of you have student loans? Okay, that's probably the wrong question. How much are your student loans? Michael Har Michelle Harvey said, I have $446,000 in student loans and I got approved. See, you've been allowing this idea of I need to be debt free to stop you from getting in the game. Okay? Janelle said, I have 70,000 in student loans, right? Oh my goodness, these numbers are insane. Um, I, I don't even want to. I don't even want to add these up. I don't even want to add these up. Okay, how many of you would be interested in me showing you how to never make a student loan payment again using multifamily real estate? How many of you would be interested in me showing you how to never make a student loan payment again using multifamily real estate? Okay, cool, cool. Watch this. Okay. Dave Ramsey versus me. Imagine two graduates have forty thousand dollars in student debt. Okay, one graduate, graduate A, the good kid, is going to rush to pay off their student debt as quickly as possible. So they're going to save up a thousand dollars a month. They're going to eat top ramen and peanut butter and jelly and ride their bike to work. And they're going to try to pay one thousand dollars a month towards their student loans. And it's going to take them about three and a half years to pay off their student loans. Right? They could have bought a multifamily immediately, but they wanted to pay off their student loans first because that's what Uncle Dave said. And so it takes them three and a half years to pay off their student loans. And then after that, then they get into multifamily real estate. Okay. But what happened to that property? That $300,000 property now has appreciated, appreciated about 3% per year. And so now it costs more, right? So let's see if you can get this. How many times did graduate A pay the $40,000 in debt? How many times did graduate A pay the $40,000 in debt because they rushed to pay off their student debt first. How many times did graduate A pay the $40,000 in debt? Pay very close attention. They paid it twice. They paid $40,000 to Sally Mae over three and a half years and then immediately once they close on their multifamily home they paid an additional $40,000 in principal for the same exact property that they could have got four years earlier for $300,000. So the good kid paid the student debt twice. The kid that thought that they were doing everything right, thought that they were being the good kid and doing it the way they're supposed to, they paid the student debt twice. The moment they paid it to Sally Mae, they got to hand it right back to them as additional principal for their property. Did y'all catch that? How sick is that? See, when you don't understand money, you end up paying double. When you don't understand money, you end up paying double for your mistakes and for your lack of knowledge. Okay? Now watch this. The other student followed my blueprint. They came to this webinar. They decided, I'm going to buy a multifamily home as quickly as possible. And what did they do? They bought the multifamily home at $300,000. They let the cash flow from that property pay their student loan payments. So they're not paying it. The rent and the cash flow from that property are paying it. And they've been living rent-free. The entire time for the four years that their friend was struggling okay and so this person over here has gained forty thousand dollars in equity their pro property went from three hundred thousand to three forty they have not paid for housing right and the four hundred and twenty five dollars of cash flow from that property has been covering their student loan payment every single month 
Which one would you rather be? Graduate A or graduate B? Graduate A or graduate B? It seems like I should rush to pay off my debt first. But when you do that, because of how the real estate market works and how leverage works, you're actually going to end up paying double because the price of the property that you could have bought earlier will have increased probably equivalent or greater than your student loan. So you actually want to reverse the process and buy the asset first, not the loan. All right. So this is what happens when you don't understand how money works and how costly it's going to be. Okay. I hope that saved. Literally, I just saved some. Whatever your student loan payment is, multiply that by uh, whatever your student loan amount is. Multiply that by two, and I just saved you that. Just you showing up. I just saved you your student loan balance times two. Okay, so don't say I never gave you nothing. All right, whatever your student loan balance is, times two. I just saved you that. If you can buy a multifamily home and you buy the right way, you let the multifamily home pay your student loan balance while you live for free and while you build equity. Do not rush to pay off your student loan payments. Okay? So, listen. Everybody out here is talking about secure the bag. Well, here's how you do that. You do that by securing a building. And that will secure your housing. It will secure your retirement. And it will secure your legacy. This is the play. You don't need a bag of money. Cash is trash. It is the lowest yielding asset in the entire world. Okay? What actually grows in wealth is actual real estate. And it's been the most proven business model of all time. And as long as there are human beings on the face of the earth, real estate will continue to be more and more valuable, especially multifamily real estate. Okay? So earlier, um, I asked for your permission. And if I rocked, I could share an opportunity with you all to consider. If I still have the green light to share that opportunity with you, please let me know in chat. Earlier, I asked for your permission. If you feel I rocked in the short amount of time that we've had here, the two hours that we've been here, can you believe it's been two hours already? If I have permission to share the opportunity, again, this is only for those who are serious. Uh, for those of you who are going to take this information and try to run with it, I wish you the best. But um, if Harry Tubman showed up and I could follow her versus me trying to run for it on my own, I'm going to follow the person who's been proven to succeed and has done it 19 times and freed over 300 people. I would be that person. I am the number one conductor on the Above Ground Railroad. There's no individual or organization that has helped more people acquire multifamily real estate than myself. I don't know of any in the country. Okay? So I know what I'm doing, not only for myself, but for others. And I would love to show those who are serious about this um, the way. Okay? Cool. All right. Thank you. So here's the deal I know uh, you're like me. And I know that you want regenerational wealth. I know you want passive income. And I know you want more freedom. And I know because that was me too. And there's many different ways to make money in real estate from tax liens to wholesaling to Airbnbs and fix and flips. Where I can do a deep dive with you is obviously in multifamily real estate. And I think I've demonstrated that over the time that we've been here together. Okay. Again, there's nobody who knows how to teach multifamily real estate better than I do and help others achieve the same exact results as I've been able to achieve. Uh, for those of you that came in late, this is my actual real estate portfolio. These are the properties that I control at this moment in time. Um, it's 38 apartments, 15.9% cash on cash return, which is three times greater than the stock market. Uh, $1.3 million in appreciation. I collect $37,000 a month in rent and uh, my portfolio is worth over $5.2 million. Now, transparency. Do I keep all $37,000 in monthly rent? Do I pocket all $37,000 in monthly rent? The answer is no, right? I keep about 40%. The other 60% goes to principal, interest, taxes, insurance, capex, repair, reserve, and vacancy rate. So 40% of $37,000 is about $15,000 a month. So right now, I'm at about uh, I'm at about $180,000 in passive income a year. And I built that in just nine years. I'm at $180,000 in passive income per year. And I built that in just nine years, less than a decade, family, because of the information that I have and that I know. Right? So, this is what I want to teach you how to do. The name of the game is not active income. You've been trying to climb to the top of the corporate ladder. You've been trying to get a raise at your job. You've been trying to get a promotion. Right? Making good active income is nice, but the true bag, true freedom is when you have passive income. That lasts not only 
for you, but for every generation that comes after you. And so that's what the goal is here. And ultimately, you want for every expense some of you have 12 expenses going out you have your rent you have your car note you have your car insurance you have utilities you have food you have um this membership over here you have child care you have insurance etc for every expense that you have you want a property you want a unit an apartment to be paying for it okay this is how you get to full freedom your first property will get you to rent and mortgage freedom but ultimately to get to full freedom you want a passive stream of income to pay for every expense you have. If you have 12 expenses going out every single month, you want 12 doors bringing money in. Not just your job. You want 12 doors passively bringing money in. This is how you win the game. Now, the path that I'm showing you is actually a proven path to you becoming a millionaire. Okay, But I want to be very clear. This is not a get-rich-quick scheme. This is not a get rich quick scheme. Many of you have pursued get rich quick schemes. You've been multi level marketing. I got caught up in multi level marketing in college, right? Some of you um, got caught up uh, in giving flowers or isusus. Oh, yeah, just put in $4 this week and next week you're going to be in the middle and you're going to get $4 million. No, that's a pyramid scheme, okay? Right? Just recruit two people and this and that. No, right? If you would have played the long term game a long time ago, you'd be a lot further along today, okay? So this is not a get rich quick scheme, but this is a get rich guaranteed system over time. This is a get rich guaranteed system over time. I'm only uh, I'm only nine years into the game. I'm going to continue to build my portfolio. Imagine what my portfolio is going to be like in 20 years from now. Imagine how much passive income. Imagine the size over hundreds of doors. OK, so you just have to get started with your first triplex, duplex or fourplex. OK. So what do I mean that this is a guaranteed path to a million dollars? Because literally, if we could stop you from paying your rent or mortgage expense, right? And let's say it's one thousand dollars a month, and you would invested that at six percent annually for the next thirty years, you would literally have one million four thousand five hundred and fifteen dollars. If we could literally just do one thing, which is to stop you from paying rent or your mortgage expense, and we can invest that at a very conservative six percent every single year. For the next 30 years, you'd have over a million dollars. This is a guarantee. That's just off of the cash flow alone. Okay, that does not account for all the appreciation, the tax savings, etc. That you get from multifamily real estate. Okay, now what I mean by that, this property that I showed you, this is actually a million dollar home, but it does not look like one. Okay, but I want to show you how this property is going to pay me over a million dollars over the course of the next 30 years. Over the next 30 years, the cash flow on this property will be $638,000, right? $638,000. That's after principal, interest, taxes, insurance, capex, repairs, urban vacancy rate. That's money in my pocket. Then the tax savings will be $278,000 because of the tax code that is beneficial and favors real estate investors. Then the principal pay down by the tenants will be $225,000. And then the appreciation at 1% per year for the next 30 years will be an additional $104,000. So the total net worth change for my last name because I bought this one single property, this one single duplex, will be $1.2 million over the next 30 years. $1.2 million. Okay? So this is the power of what I'm teaching you, but again, you have to be committed to the long-term game. So we add that $1.2 million to the $115 million that you get from no longer having a rent expense. This is literally a $2 million decision for you right now. This is no longer an ATM machine. This is no longer a hypothetical situation. This is literally a $2 million decision. You're at a crossroads. You're either going to stay on the path that you've been on, trying to figure it out, trying to get a little raise here and there at your job, or you're going to build a new path to actually start buying assets, right? Creating streams of passive income, multiple streams of passive income, getting to rent and mortgage freedom, right? This is a $2 million decision right here and right now. It's $2 million over the next 30 years, but some of you don't have a plan to get to $2 million. How, you, how else are you going to make $2 million over the next 30 years? You're just going to work at your job and save and hope that they give you enough raises. Hope that your stock market portfolio bounces back from the hit right hope that it's up when you're ready to retire okay so i just want to make you these are real numbers you can go run these numbers on your own if you know the math okay and it's right here okay in front of you so you have to make a choice so my again my question to you is what is the what is your plan to get rid of the biggest expense in your life forever what is your plan to get rid of the biggest expense in your life forever most of you don't have a plan i'm just going to keep on paying rent okay when does rent end 
when does your mortgage end even if your mortgage ends in 30 years from now you still have property taxes you still have insurance and you still have maintenance so your house is going to continue to take money out of your pocket for the rest of your life even once your mortgage is paid off even once your mortgage is paid off and the way it's structured in the american dream is that that your mortgage is paid off when you go into fixed income when your income goes down and so now your house poor you have a house but your house poor you have a fully paid off house but your house poor and you can't leverage it you can't refinance it you can't take money out because your income has dropped because you're retired now it's a trap family and i'm trying to set you free so you don't get caught up so what i want to invite you to be part of is a 12-week experience i created for you called the multi-family master plan where i'll work with you and walk you through everything that we just discussed and a lot more to accelerate how quickly you're able to buy a multifamily home in the right way that gives you rent freedom for those of you that are renters and or another stream of positive cash flow that pays for another debt like your mortgage, student loans, or credit cards, or medical bills if you already have a single family. Okay? So real quick question. Who wants to live free and create regenerational wealth? Who wants to live free and create regenerational wealth? Please let me know. I don't know anybody who doesn't, but I just want to check. Who wants to live free and create regenerational wealth? Okay, just about everybody. Okay, so this program is designed to create multifamily real estate investors. Not only do I want you to get your first property, I want you to build an entire portfolio. And so let me explain to you really quickly how it works. Okay, it's four parts. Okay, the first part is the uh, online course. But this is not just an online course, and I'll explain that to you in just a second. I do need to transmit more information to you about multifamily real estate investing. Off of this webinar alone, you are not prepared to go out there and buy anything. Okay? So through the multifamily master plan, I've laid out the curriculum in such a way, like if you remember Neo in The Matrix, he got he learned Kung Fu in five seconds. I've created the fastest curriculum for you to go through in order to master multifamily real estate investing. Okay? so yes i do have to transmit information to you all right and so that is the first part of the process but i've laid it out in the most efficient way possible for you to get through it so that you can become a master real estate investor but here's where this program is different than anything that you've seen okay so the next thing is that i pair you with one of our national mortgage brokers we have two of the best mortgage brokers in the entire country that we have a relationship with so that you know that when you go out there you're not dealing with predatory lenders these lenders will smile in your face tell you how cute your family looks tell you how this is the best decision in your life while they're sliding hidden fees into your term sheet right while they're trying to get over to you on you through predatory loans I will pair you with two of the best lenders in the entire country who have had the best terms for my students okay and you need that they will go to bat for you to get the best terms and find the best uh best um loans for you okay then on top of that i told you about real estate agents we have a network of certified multifamily real estate agents these are people who have been trained in the methodology who know uh the difference between a listing and a deal who know how to run the numbers through the purchase or pass deal analyzer know why every number is significant right they've been trained in this methodology and we have uh agents in every market or we're, we're developing agents in every market across the country okay now for those of you who are real estate agents once you complete the program you can now become a certified agent in uh your market and you can benefit from all the commissions that come from our students closing there okay so you are now paired with an agent who gets it who understands the game not somebody who just sells single family homes, but somebody who understands multifamily real estate investing and in most cases is a multifamily real estate investor themselves. So you know you're now working with an agent who you can trust. And then finally, I have uh, this is fact in fact Vinny. Vinny is our number one certified uh, multifamily market uh, number one certified multifamily agent. Um, he's helped more students close than anybody else to date. Um, this is him taking uh, a few families through uh, two properties. He helped Olivia close on her first property and then um we go out to properties in groups so that's him leading a group of our members uh through properties in new jersey so if you're in the new jersey market you'll definitely meet Vinny, and he'll be there to guide you uh to the finish line there but he's been trained in the methodology he knows what the 23 numbers are he knows how to use the purchase or pass deal analyzer he knows what the 33 signs of gentrification are okay so in addition to that we have a technology that I've invested in uh, called the Purchase of Pass Deal Analyzer. This is where we actually share our real estate deals together, all right, our off-market deals. So you can keep, 
continue to go to Truly and Zillow and find those on-market deals, but we have a space where we share off-market deals with one another. I showed you earlier where Ronique got a property from a wholesaler who knew a, uh, who knew a broker, right? So we have to we share deals with one another. Somebody may find a deal, they're not ready to do it, they don't have the financing yet lined up, and so they pass it on to the family so that we keep this internal network of knowledge within ourselves. So with the Purchase the Pass Deal Analyzer, this is where you'll analyze all of your deals. You can see that these are public deals that the family has shared. This is Camille. She says, shout out to Daffy for sending me a sweet deal in our market this morning and helping me run the numbers on it. They're truly strength in numbers and community. Stay blessed, everyone. So we share off-market deals with one another. This is also where you'll be able to connect with other members in your market. Um, the, this is the beautiful uh, people in the Orlando market. You'll also be able to share the real estate Rolodex in that market. So you'll find the best contractors, the best agents, the best inspectors, the best insurance companies. All of that will be there. So you will not be starting from scratch. This is a mastermind and we share knowledge with one another so that all of our members can succeed and get to the closing room as quickly as possible. Okay. So look, if you are low income, uh, uh, let me say this first. Every excuse that you've had for why you are not in real estate, I have a solution for. There's only one excuse that I cannot support you in, and that is chronic unemployment. If you are chronically unemployed, meaning that you are happily unemployed and you have no intent of being employed whatsoever, then I cannot help you. That's victim consciousness. You want something for nothing. Okay? If you're on fixed income, I can help you. Okay? If you have disability, I can help you. Right? Even if you're bankrupt, I, if you've been through bankruptcy, I can help you, okay? Every excuse you have, I have a way through it, around it, or above it. Every excuse you have, I have a way through it, around it, or above it. So every excuse you're holding on to, it's only because you don't know how to get around it. I do. I do. So if you believe that your excuse is smarter or better or bigger than me, then that's up to you to believe. But every excuse you have, I have a way through it, above it, or around it. So you're going to have to trust me to guide you to the finish line. Otherwise, you can keep on holding on to your excuse. All right? So, listen. Low income or bad credit, I already showed you NACA, right? I showed you Gloria. I showed you uh, the Royal Family. I showed you Luis, right? They all went through NACA. So if you have low income or bad credit, or NACA does not take credit into account, and low income, you can still get financed through NACA. So that's going to be your best option if you have low income or bad credit. If you already bought a single family home, I told you all to type in 625 earlier. Guess what? I'm going to show you the different strategies and plays you can run utilizing the equity in that home. Michelle closed on her four. She had a single family home, closed on a fourplex in North Carolina. Chantel chose to sell her single family home, closed on a fourplex in California instead, right? And so there's a module specifically for single family buyers uh, in the special situation section called Single Family Homeowner, Six Ways to Escape If You Did, and Five Ways to Use FHA Twice. So when I had you type in 625, this is why, because this is the module where I will show you step by step how to all your options and then you'll pick the best play for you and then you'll go back to the top of the course and then we'll execute on that play okay you live in an expensive market this methodology works in all markets family um this is velveta she closed on a fourplex in los angeles james closed on a three family in boston in the roxbury neighborhood natasha closed on a triplex in the bronx now um, dwight and Rhonda closed on a duplex in napa california the Pettigrews closed on a triplex in cypress hills brooklyn new york right so um, and then Misha also closed on a fourplex in Los Angeles. So this d it does not ex it, uh, matter how expensive your market is. The methodology and the numbers and the math still work. And I have students who are closing in all different markets. If you're a veteran, good news. You have one of the best mortgages in the entire country, which is the VA loan. Yes, you can use the VA loan for multifamily. And yes, you can use the VA loan twice if you already used it. So this is Demetrius, one of our youngest students, age 26, closed on a fourplex in Colleen, Texas. This is Terrence, closed on a fourplex with a VA loan in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Gary bought a triplex in six months. Um, Alan closed on a triplex in Baltimore. Actually, I want to read Alan's story really quickly. Hello, Julian Gordon. Uh, hello, Julian. I just want to thank you for the great service that you provide. I learned a great deal from your detailed instruction for the past three months during the pandemic, and I recently closed on a multifamily in Baltimore, Maryland on 61720. The property cash flows and is in an appreciating market with built-in equity as well. I would not have had the confidence to handle the deal like such a boss without the expert knowledge provided in your course. 
I felt like I had the answer to the test every step along the way. Thanks again, brother, for the gateway to freedom and generational wealth. I will certainly pay it for it. Best regards, Alan. Now, what's beautiful about Alan's story is that he proposed to his significant other on the third floor of that property. They got engaged, they got married, and they gave birth to a child. This child will never know what it means to rent. Okay, and here's what he said. Key rings before wedding rings. See, some of y'all are so caught up in the American dream that you're doing it wrong. Okay, the reason you do key rings before wedding rings is because American dream says, oh, it's romantic. Go buy a house together. Now you're both stuck into one mortgage. You have a $300,000 mortgage, but it's showing up on both of your credits individually as $300,000. So now it looks like you as a couple have $600,000 in debt. What you want to do is you want to buy your multifamilies first separately. Then you want to come together as a union. And then you want to use the cash flow from those properties to buy your dream home. But some of you are so caught up in the American dream and first comes love, then comes marriage, then comes the baby and the baby carriage. No. First comes love, then comes real estate. Okay. Then comes the wedding. Then comes buying the home that we want. Then comes the baby and the baby carriage. But all of this programming is out there. You think these songs are just made up? No. This is programming. Okay. You got to break free from the program. All right. So uh, if you're a single mom, I told you I'm not going to let you single moms off the hook. I don't let anybody off the hook. Robin, single mom, closing this duplex in New Orleans. Nicole, single mom, closing this fourplex in Chicago. Originally priced $362,000. I taught her how to compete um, and negotiate. She got it down to three hundred and forty at a 3.5% interest rate. And guess what? Nicole said, that moment when your offer gets accepted on property number two, let's go. So Nicole is now on property number two, family. Okay? So single moms, I'm not letting you off the hook here. All right? Um, you need to invest from a distance, right? That's okay. Dante lives in Oakland, California, closed on this duplex in New Orleans, which is his hometown. Um, the Powell family, they also live in Oakland, California, closed on a duplex in Detroit. Jason lives in San Antonio, Texas, closed on a duplex in New Orleans. Jetro went to University of Gainesville, Florida, so he bought a fourplex there, even though he doesn't live there. Elena and Aaron closed on a duplex in Detroit, though they live in Los Angeles, okay? So, um, uh, if you already have a prop, uh, multiple properties and you're ready to scale up, if your property is, n if you don't have as many doors as I do at this moment in time, I still have more to teach you. Okay, so this is Ronique. He closed on a fourplex in Birmingham, Alabama, in 30 days. Now he's doing that burr, which is he bought it for twenty-five thousand dollars, putting in forty-five thousand. It'll be worth one seventy-five. So he's literally about to step into a hundred thousand dollars in equity based on what I taught him. Sienna and Matthew, they ran the play perfectly. They bought uh, One of them bought a triplex within five months of being in the program, and the next one bought a triplex within six months of being in the program. So now they have six doors as a family. Those of you getting ready for retirement, this is Jackie. She bought a triplex and a single family from a distressed seller. And then she also went on to buy another set of duplexes um, uh, in Philadelphia. So she now has eight doors as she prepares for retirement. And if you think that... Um, getting a uh, fourplex or a triplex is just far-fetched like julian how can i do this i'm going to show you some of my uh best students thus far jimmy has closed on 21 doors in less than a year and a half he said thanks julian gordon our goal was 50 doors and we're halfway there in 1.4 years controlling over 1.9 million dollars of real estate didn't need a mba to get to the next million so him and his wife candace have 21 doors now already okay in less than a year and a half you think that's crazy this is Julius. Julius acquired 28 doors in seven months. Fast forward in a few days, my wife will turn 40 years old and we've closed on eight real estate deals worth $2.65 million. Actually, we closed on two deals so far in August, making it a special birthday present. Now, you think this is crazy. Julius must have something special. Um, here's the reality, y'all. He said, my wife and I are not U.S. citizens yet. Not yet. We were very grateful. We were grateful to announce that we closed on a six unit multifamily today. It's such an honor that we now provide decent and affordable housing for seven to 17 American families, 17 doors across three states and looking forward to doing more. OK, how many of you are ready to start playing at the level where you're gifting real estate to your significant other and to your kids? This is what Julius decided to do. No excuses. They're not even U.S. citizens yet. And they are providing housing to U.S. citizens. OK. Some of you are just too privileged and too entitled. And you think that it should all just be handed it to you. And so you have people with uh, stronger mindsets, more abundance mindsets, more go-getter mindsets who are out here getting it. They're getting it. 28 doors in seven months? That's absolutely remarkable. Okay? I'm not promising these kind of results. But I know if Julius can do 28 doors in seven months and not even be a U.S. citizen yet, 
I know that you can get your first fourplex or your first triplex or your first duplex within the next three to 12 months. Okay, I know it's possible for you. All right, so I have tons more closings family, uh, the Campbell family in Charlotte, Devin uh, in East Orange, New Jersey, uh, Alyssa in, um, in uh, Pensacola, Florida, Dante in Baltimore, Agents Karen and Jamel in Norfolk, New Jersey, Spencer in Cleveland, uh, Fernando in Los Angeles, Darren and Aisha in Providence, Rhode Island, Tyler and Olivia in New Orleans, Morgan in South Carolina, Tafara in Baltimore. Javier in Georgia, Cornelius in Georgia, Carvella um, in uh, Detroit. Um, you can see that the list just goes on. Newark, Norfolk, Chicago, Newark, Phoenix, Newark, Norfolk, New Upstate New York, Newark again, East Orange, Albany, Georgia, Norfolk. I got tons more closings. I literally have documentation over of over 300 closings, y'all. So I don't have time to show all of them here, but I just want you to know that this is real. This is real. These are individuals who have been through my methodology and my program and have closed on properties all over the country. So if you are ready to get to the closing table um, uh, and you are serious, um, and now is the time. Um, this opportunity is only available uh, for 50 people. Okay. I'm only looking for 50 people. I've already got to 326 closings. And right now, I'm only looking for 50 more people in this next cohort. Harry Tubman, she made 19 trips below the Mason-Dixon line and freed 300 people. So she was taking about 15 people at a time. I can't take people one by one, right? If she would have took people one by one, she would only freed 19 people. So right now, in this particular cohort, I'm looking for 50 people who are serious about making this happen within the next 3 to 12 months. And if that's you, you can uh, now join the program. Right, you can now join the program um, at the URL that you see below. There should be a button or your URL that you see below, and you can go there right now and join the program. Again, I'm only looking for 50 people. Right, this is if you hesitate, you wait, and you procrastinate, you're going to miss out on this opportunity. And not only are interest rates going to go up, but rent's going to keep coming due, and you're going to keep on losing every single month, whether that is rent or or your mortgage expense, you're gonna keep losing every single month that you wait, hesitate, and procrastinate. There's literally a cost for you not taking action, okay? There's literally a cost for you not taking action. And so I'm giving you the opportunity to get out of your own way and to get to your desired destination, which is acquiring multifamily real estate and building regenerational wealth faster, safer, and easier. Now, um, for those of you who have clicked over uh, to the page, for those of you that have clicked over, um, uh, when you do the one pay, you save $993. When you do the one pay, you save $993, okay? You get access to everything immediately, which means that you can go as fast as you want. You get to go as fast as you want when you do the one pay, okay? So you save, I reward you, right, for being all in and taking action and being committed, right? I reward you, you save 993, that's the reward. And you get access to everything immediately. So if you are really seeking to close in 90 days, then you can go ahead and lock in and you can go as fast as you desire. So there are right now 35 one pays and only 15 subscription payments. Okay. The subscription plan costs more. I'm just going to let you know that the subscription plan costs more. Okay. But there are two options there on the page. There's 35 one pays. I'd rather work for people who are fully committed, but I did set aside 15 subscription plans for those who uh, who need it at this moment in time. All right. So if you're ready, go ahead and go. Please do not wait, hesitate, or procrastinate. Um, it's only going to cost you by doing so. So make sure that you get in the game. So with that, I'm going to walk you really quickly through uh, the program. Um, the five modules that I'm going to guide you through are finance it, find it, finalize it, fix it, and fill it. And I'll walk you through those really quickly. So in the finance it module, I'm going to show you no low money down programs and grants you can use to get started without a huge savings. What exactly are the lenders looking for? Quick credit fixes to improve your credit score. Um, FHA loans debunked. The dark side beyond it being three and a half percent down, why you must shop for lenders first and not the home, and why you should go as big as possible on your first property. As I said before, there are a lot of predatory lenders out there. In this program, I actually pair you with two of the best mortgage brokers in the entire country. So uh, with that, um, you will know that you will be safe and that you're going to get the best terms. Sandrika, who's one of our uh, one of our coaches and one of our best students who closed uh, several properties in Memphis, she said a couple of lenders tried the okey doke on me, specifically with leaving out 
prepaid costs, offering more money, and uh, lowering rate but doubling all other fees. What most of you don't know is that the lowest interest rate does not mean the best terms. Because what lenders will do, they'll give you the lowest interest rate, but then they'll stack a whole bunch of fees up on front. And you think that you're winning, but you're actually losing. So this is why you need to know how to make lenders compete for your business. Uh, I want to welcome Julia Johnson. Uh, welcome, Julia Johnson. Happy to have you. Peter uh, Peter Chassie, uh, welcome to the family. Marquel Jones, welcome to the family. Happy to have you. If you join, please let me know in chat. Sydney Sydney Johnson, welcome to the family. Jeff Adams, happy to have you. All right, cool. This stuff is coming in on my phone. Happy to have you. Cool, cool, cool. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, then Ashley, I helped her make lenders compete. Remember, we don't just go to one lender. We make the lenders compete for our business. We stand in our power. So I was able to get her interest rate down from 3.125 to 2.625, and that um, is going to save her over $30,000 on her first property. All right? I uh, want to welcome Edward Singleton from Denmark, uh, South Carolina. Welcome to the family. Edward is uh, is um, Edward took up one of the subscription plans. Rich Blackman, full pay, all the way in Rosenberg, Texas. Welcome, family. I don't know which major city Rosenberg is close to, but um, we're gonna help you. We're gonna help you uh, get to the finish line, brother. Uh, also, want to welcome Angela Lanford uh, from uh, where's Angela from? Uh, Colony, Texas. Colony, Texas. All right, welcome Angela to the family. All right, so I'll be giving people shout outs as they come in. If I missed your name, go ahead and uh, uh, let me know in chat, okay? Because I won't be able to catch everybody on my phone. All right, so find it. How to find great deals in your backyard. Um, the 33 signs of gentrification. I'm going to teach you what those are so that you can see them with your own eyes. How to use the internet and specific websites you need to know and find it to do due diligence on a deal. Again, I'm not talking truly a Zillow or Redfin. Okay. How to evaluate a deal in another state if you're investing from a distance, uh, why the asking price doesn't matter, right? and the people or tools you need in place to get off-market deals coming to you daily. All right. Then I'm going to show you the 23 numbers that you need to truly evaluate whether to purchase a path on a real estate deal. As I said, I'm literally going to give you the purchase a path deal analyzer. I'm going to teach you how to run deals. This is an entire module. right? I have to go through all 23 numbers and teach you where they are, how to find them, how they impact the deal, etc. Okay? Um, I'm going to teach you uh, the four most overlooked numbers that can make or break a deal, um, how to never pay at or above asking price, and then the five ways to exit a deal if the numbers are adding up or something doesn't feel right. All right? Um, I want to welcome, who's this? Uh, uh, Michaela Shepard um, from uh, Inglewood in the building. Michaela, welcome to the family. Okay, we definitely, I know what rents are like there, so we definitely got to get you in the game as quickly as possible. All right? So, uh, with that, uh, fix it. The 10 types of contracts you need to have and on, uh, on speed dial, once the deal is in motion, you do not build your team of contractors after. Okay? You build your team of contractors before you get into the game. Okay? I'm going to show you how to vet that team. I'm going to show you how to integrate them into your property inspection response, which is one of your greatest points of leverage in the entire negotiation process. Most people don't know this. They're not prepared. It is a time stamped uh, period, usually 10 to 14 days, and you have to move quickly. And there are strategic things that you can do to use that property inspection response. Right. So, um, in fact, Stephen, I was able to help him get a $35,000 price reduction on his property because of the negotiation strategies that taught him using the property inspection response. Response, okay, then um, fill it. Your landlord now. How to avoid those 3M phone calls and manage a building without always being there. How to find great tenants fast. What you need, who you need, and where to post. Free download of my sample lease agreement. Long distance and long distance investing secrets. How to manage your investment without always being there. And the top 20 markets to invest in. Uh, I want to welcome uh, Tamara Parker from uh, Chicago, Illinois. Welcome to the family, um, Tamara. And I want to welcome also Cynthia Jones from. Uh, Moreno Valley, California, West Side. Cali is representing. Happy to have you. Um, of course, Cali is a high cost market, so we got to get rent off the table, right? I also want to uh, welcome Darius Sanders from Mobile, Alabama. I love those smaller, less expensive, uh, less sexy markets, Darius. So um, let's knock it out there because uh, the cost basis is so low there in comparison to some of these other northern or western cities. So let's let's do that, okay? So look, y'all. Um, I think that's about 14 people so far. So, um, so this is exciting. Uh, so normally the multifamily master plan by itself would be um, $2,499, but I'm literally going to show you how to get access to the program for free. Okay, to the curriculum. 
Okay, I'm going to show you how to get access to the curriculum for free. I repeat, uh, the curriculum uh, is all free. All right, it's all free. All you have to do to get access to the curriculum for free is join the multifamily movement mastermind, which is committed to creating freedom and generational wealth through real estate. Okay, my initial mission was to help 300 people or families acquire a cash flow positive multifamily home within six months of being pre qualified. Okay, so there's stuff you have to do to get ready. I've surpassed that 300 number. And so now, like Harriet Tubman, I take cohorts of people. And right now, I'm looking to take a cohort of 50 people. All right, that's it. I'm going to focus my energy on helping these 50 people succeed and close on their uh, homes as quickly as 90 days. Some people, based on where they're at, it may take up to a year. Okay, but that is my focus. Now, Julian, you just said it was free. What do you mean I have to join this mastermind? Here's what, how it works. Um, I've been teaching online for the past uh, 10 years now. Okay. And what I found is that only 7% of people complete online courses when left up to their own devices. That's why this is not just a course. This is why I give you a lender. This is why I give you an agent. This is why I give you technology to make sure that you succeed. This is not just some information transfer, okay? If you want to, you can go try to piece together this information on the internet by yourself, on YouTube, podcast, blog posts, right? It's not about the information. Information alone does not lead to the transformation, okay? I'm not here for the transfer of information. I'm here for your, your actual transformation. It is the integration and the implementation of the information that leads to the transformation. So I realized after teaching so many people and helping so many people succeed is what sets people, what sets this program apart is the accountability and the structure in addition to the information. Some people just want to give you information. I give you an accountability system and structure. And so how many of you um, have uh, how many have a book on your bookshelf that you intended to read to change some aspect of your life and you didn't even crack it open? How many have a book on your bookshelf that you intended to read to change some aspect of your life and you didn't even crack it open? Right. Right. So even though the information is there, you did not get the transformation because you didn't digest the information and you didn't implement the information, right? So what makes that any different? How many of you had a body goal to lose your gut a year ago? You wanted to lose your gut a year ago, but you still have your gut, right? You still have your gut. But yet there's all kinds of healthy recipes on the internet, all kinds of free workout videos on YouTube, but you still have your gut. The information is there, but you still have your gut. So what's the deal? You see, information alone does not lead to the transformation. It's the accountability and the structure. And that's what the multifamily movement mastermind is about. It is the accountability and structure that you need to make sure that you get through the multifamily master plan. And once you commit to the accountability and structure, I will happily, happily give you access to everything that I know about multifamily real estate investing, period. Once you commit to the structure and the accountability, right? I will happily give you access to everything I know about multifamily real estate investing. So this is how the program is structured. Please do not be this guy. How many times are you going to be this guy? Right? This guy is literally reading about fasting while stuffing his face. What I found about real estate investing is that you can't learn it through a book. You have to be out there in the field. You have to take action. Your first deal is going to teach you so much. How many more webinars are you going to attend? How many more books are you going to buy? How many more podcasts are you going to listen to about real estate investing? 40 million people have bought Rich Dad, Poor Dad, but 40 million people have not bought real estate. Why is that? The book has been there. It's been published, published a long time ago. I read it in college. 40 million people have read it. Actually, 40 million people have bought it. I would say maybe 10 million have read it. But why haven't all those people bought real estate? Because information alone without the structure and the accountability will not get you to the finish line. So I've put more and more energy and resources and team into the structure and the accountability to make sure that you succeed. How many would be further along on your body goals if you had a personal trainer? Even if you only had a personal trainer for three months, how many would be further along on your body goals? Yet you're going to continue to try to do it on your own when you know you would be more successful with a personal trainer. Every month that you delay is going to cost you in rent or mortgage expense. Every month that you delay. See, you don't know how you not taking care of your health is going to affect you. You don't know if that's going to add an extra, to subtract that extra year from your life, extra two months. You don't know. But I know that every month that you do not own real estate, particularly multifamily real estate, is going to cost you whatever your rent payment is, whatever your mortgage payment is. It's literally going to cost you. And so this is why I'm so 
uh, so focused on helping you get into the game as quickly as possible. And I know I have to get some of you out of your own way. So with that, I want to uh, celebrate Nadia Fulton. Um, welcome to the family, Nadia. Uh, she took up one of the subscri subscription payments. I also want to welcome, a a a I think, Angela Landford. Did I already say? No. I already said Angela. Shirley uh, Lassine. Welcome to the family, Shirley. I also want to welcome... Uh, Phil and Anya Williams. He put his wife on there. That's what I'm talking about, Phil. Los Angeles, California. Good. We got two of you there as a team working together. It's so beautiful to see y'all on this webinar together and, and that he put her name on there. He didn't just put his name. He put her name on there. That's my wife. Okay. We're going to make sure that you buy property separately and uh, double double that wealth. Okay. Um, cool. So, uh, this is a movement in real life. This is 200 of us in New Orleans for our Generational Wealth Conference. Um, and so you're about to be part of a new family. OK, if you feel like you are the only person around you that is operating at this level, the only person around you that would attend a webinar like this, then um, you probably feel lonely. And now you get to be part of a family and a community that is committed to this for life, like who's committed to creating generational wealth and operating at a higher level of wealth consciousness than you may be at this moment in your journey. OK, so um, the multifamily master plan course is normally two thousand four hundred ninety nine dollars um, by itself. But what I've done is I've stacked on all of the structure and accountability to make sure that you succeed. So it's not just the course. The course is only 20% of the program. 40% is actually going to be on your computer, right, or on your phone, actually being in contact with people. Then another 40% is going to be in your shoes and your car, actually being in contact with properties and neighborhoods. Real estate is a contact sport. So you have to be in contact with people and with properties. So every single week, you're going to have a brand new challenge. Okay, we start with our financial house cleaning challenge. Then we go into our lender shopping challenge, our pre-approval challenge, our real estate agent challenge, our neighborhood knowledge challenge number one, our deal a day challenge number one. Then you're going to go into your real estate team building challenge, and you're going to keep uh, doing uh, the neighborhood challenge and the deal a day challenge over and over and over again until you close on your first property. Okay, so this is the setup. So every single week you're going to have to get up from your computer and go do something. Okay. This is not just you watch videos. You're not you're just not just watching me on videos. The deals are out there, not behind a computer. OK, so every single week you're going to have to go out and do something. So let me show you the back end of the curriculum so that you can see what you're going to get. This these are the modules. Every single week you're going to get your mindset modules first. Then you're going to get your movement modules. So we renew the mind. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. We renew the mind first. Then we take action. We renew the mind. Then we take action. We renew the mind. Then we take action. OK. And so um, every single week you're going to have something to do, a brand new challenge to do and to execute. I've streamlined this course. There is no fat in this program so whatsoever. Every single module is either going to make you money or save you money in this process, period. OK, there's no fat, no fluff. It's about you learning everything that I know about multifamily real estate as quickly as humanly possible. OK, any fat, I've cut it. Um, anything that's going to help you, it's there. All right. And it's set up linearly. All you have to do is follow the modules step by step by step. We have one rule in the program, which is do not skip steps. Do not skip steps. That's our one rule in the program. OK, now, uh, how do I hold you accountable? So every week we have our weekly deal room calls. And on our weekly deal room calls, right, on our weekly deal room calls, first and foremost, one, you have to publicly announce to the family what you did over the past seven days to move forward on your real estate goals. OK, you have to publicly announce to the family what you did over the past seven days to move forward. OK, we call it positive peer pressure, positive peer pressure. You all know what negative peer pressure is. You've had negative peer pressure in your life. Some of you are dealing with negative peer pressure right now. This is positive peer pressure where we're pushing you to be your best. OK, then from there, you can sign up to be in the hot seat. That's where you can get one on one coaching from me. So you'll step into the hot seat. We'll be on camera on Zoom. I will coach you live. Right. And the entire family will be listening in as I coach you through your situation. You want to analyze a deal. You want to compare to uh, offers from lenders. You want to talk about your real estate agent. Right. We can do all of that and you can get coached by me live every single week. Every single week, I only take two weeks off for birthday and for a holiday. That's it. 50 weeks out of the year, you will be connecting with me, right? And I'll be able to coach you on whatever you're going through on your uh, on your real estate journey, okay? Then from there, you're also going to get the Purchase or Pass Deal Analyzer, right? I'm going to give you this tool, uh, this financial model that I've used over the past nine years to develop my portfolio. Every deal I've done has been run through the Purchase or Pass Deal Analyzer, Okay. You're going to know what the 23 numbers are, where to find them, how to find them quickly, how they impact the deal. 
they will then from there it will show you what the cash on cash return is and it will tell you whether you should purchase it or pass on the deal period that's why it's named that you're going to purchase or pass it will tell you we don't make emotional decisions they're purely economic and the only thing that beats a cash offer is a fast offer so some of you are hesitating waiting and procrastinating right now only thing that beats a cash offer is a fast offer some of you are going to miss out because you hesitate wait and procrastinate and uh, to be honest with you um I don't take it personal because that's just how you've shown up in life. You've hesitated, waited, procrastinated. Some of you haven't gone after the significant other that you wanted because you hesitate, wait, and procrastinate. Some of you haven't gone after the job that you wanted because you hesitate, wait, and you procrastinate. Some of you haven't started your business because you hesitate, wait, and procrastinate. When are you going to break that pattern? How is hesitating, waiting, and procrastinating working for you right now? Or is it just leading to regret? Other people are swooping in on the opportunities that you had right before you, but you missed out. Okay? So you have to decide how you want to show up. And given that your housing expense is the biggest expense in your life and will continue to be for the rest of your life until you do something different, you can go live in a tent, you can go to jail, or you can buy multifamily real estate. Besides that, there's no other way to get rid of your housing expense. And I'm literally the pr most proven, best way to learn how to get rid of your housing expense for the rest of your life. There's nobody else who has helped more people do this than me. Nobody else in this country. Okay? So... um, I'm here. I'm here. If you're willing to follow, I'm willing to lead. I am leading. Okay. And there's going to be a group of people that I do lead. The question is, are you going to be part of that group? So everybody that joins will get the multifamily real estate investor workbook. Um, this is literally 60, 69 pages of all the tools and frameworks that I use. And you'll keep this with you. This will be with you in your purse, in your car, in your backpack. This will be with you until you close on your property. Okay. This is the tool, the all the tools that you need to succeed, all of them are here, and that will come with your membership in the multifamily movement. And you will all get a ticket to Generational Wealth Conference, which is our two day, uh, uh, our two day event in um, our two day event. Uh, it's a live event. You'll fly into the city, and we. Um, Day one is all of my wealth building strategies beyond multifamily real estate investing. I'm talking about uh, I'm talking about insurance strategies, tax strategies, entrepreneurship, stock market uh, investing, cryptocurrency, etc. And then day two is all real estate investing um, conversations and panels, okay, um, and and teaching. So um, that's our generational wealth conference. That's our annual family picnic, our annual family event. And so you get to come to that as a member of the multifamily movement. Before I go forward. I want to share. Uh, I want to celebrate some folks. I want to celebrate Janae Williams from uh, Phillipsburg, uh, New Jersey. Uh, I want to celebrate. Um, I want to celebrate uh, Angie Pope from Atlanta, Georgia. ATL in the building. Um, Daniel Manny uh, from Chicago, Illinois. Full full pay, uh, all the way in. Fully committed. Welcome, Daniel. I uh, also want to celebrate Edgar Lee. Oh, that's Ed Lee. Same Ed Lee that moved quick earlier. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Ed, uh, I want you to connect with Terrence, um, who is our, our our market meetup leader out there. Okay, so uh, his name is Terrence Monroe. Okay, so um, with that, uh, everything that I'm sharing with you right now would be worth five thousand four hundred and ninety-seven dollars. Um, I'm talking about the multifamily master plan course, the weekly deal room calls and coaching, the purchase of past deal analyzer, the multifamily real estate investor workbook, and the two-day generational wealth conference ticket. Now, real quick question. Would it be worth $5,497 one time to eliminate your monthly rent expense or single family home mortgage forever? Please let me know in chat. Would it be worth $5,497 one time to eliminate your monthly rent expense or single family home mortgage forever? That's a no-brainer, right? Of course it would. Would it be worth $5,497 if all it did was help you acquire one cash flow positive multifamily home within the next year? What if it didn't? What if, uh, let's say it doesn't take you three months or six months. Let's say it takes you a full year. Would it still be worth $5,497? I showed you how this is going to be a $2 million decision for you over the next 30 years. Okay? But some of you are afraid to invest right now. This program does not cost $5,497. If you've clicked over to the page, you'll see that. Right? But would it be worth $5,497? That's the value of everything that I'm offering right now. Would it be worth $5,497 if the only thing you learned was how to buy right so that you never ended up underwater on a real estate deal thanks to the purchase to pass deal analyzer? Because if you literally make a mistake on your first deal, it is going to set you back for five years at least because you're going to have to wait for that property to organically appreciate, which you do not control, in order to be able to sell it and get out from underwater. So you have to be very careful. This is the biggest financial decision of your life and you want to make sure that you uh, buy right. Okay? Now, 
here are your options to join um, the first option it feels free but it's actually going to cost you the most and that is you do nothing it feels free but it's going to cost you the most and that's you do nothing and while you do nothing rents will keep rising which makes it harder for you to save and the prices of real estate will keep rising make it harder for you to buy so those are that's your option it's going to cost you in terms of time money and mistakes that's option one and a lot of people are going to take that option and um, I wish you the best you want to do nothing but expect something to change you're going to do nothing but expect something to change that that just doesn't make sense to me I'm going to do nothing but expect something to change just listen to that okay rent is going to be due every 30 days that you don't do something is going to be due every 30 days like clockwork to somebody who did do something and actually bought multifamily real estate okay so for those of you who do decide to do nothing um, and go about it on your own uh, I just want to share with you the top 20 mistakes to be uh, aware of um, you not knowing how to get off-market deals coming to you you not knowing how to run the numbers properly you not knowing how to negotiate with sellers you not knowing how to find and screen great tenants you not knowing how to avoid getting con by contractors you not knowing how to force appreciation all of these things are snags that will catch you up and prevent you from getting to the closing table and getting to freedom so those are just some of them um, and the reality is is you know for those of you who are going to try to go do it on your own, if you could have done it on your own, then why haven't you done it yet? If you could have done it on your own already, why haven't you done it yet? Why are you still on this webinar almost three hours later? Why are you on this webinar? If you could have done it on your own already, why haven't you done it? You got all the books, you watch all the videos, but why haven't you taken action? You may be the one that's blocking your own blessing and abundance. You may be the reason. Okay? So you need a push. You need an extra layer of accountability. It's not that the desire in the heart isn't there, but there's something inside of you that's blocking you from actually getting what you say you want. How many more webinars are you going to attend? How many more books are you going to read? How many more podcasts are you going to listen to about real estate before you take action? Okay. Again, there's nobody who's helped more people close on multifamily real estate than me. Okay. I have the receipts. If you found somebody who's helped more people close on multifamily real estate than me, then please let me know. But at this moment in time, I don't know of anybody. Okay, so earlier I gave you a hypothetical situation uh, with this ATM machine, right? And um, and you all said you go get the money. Well, now here we are with the real life situation. And are you going to give up or go get the money? You going to hesitate, wait, and procrastinate? Are you going to give up? Or are you going to go get the, go get the money? Somehow, magically, you find rent money every single month. You find that mortgage money every single month. And I'm trying to show you a way to never pay rent or mortgage again so that you can keep that money, but you're hesitating. Did you know that hesitation is literally the opposite of happiness? Hesitation is not going after what you want. Happiness is going after what you want. So hesitation is literally the opposite of happiness. And so if you're not free and you're not happy, it's probably because you hesitate on going after things that you want. Like, what's the logical argument? I'm going to keep paying rent for the next five years and then I'll figure it out, Julian. You know how much money that's going to cost you? Right? I want to get you to rent and mortgage freedom as quickly as possible. That single decision will change the financial trajectory of your life. So for those of you who are ready, um, you can take advantage of the one-time payment of $2,497. That will save you $9.93. You will get access to everything immediately. Right? You'll be able to go through the curriculum as fast as you desire so that we can try to get you to close quickly within three to like six months. Okay. So for those of you who are about speed, then you're going to want to do that. And I'm going to reward you by helping you save $9.93. Okay. All I'm asking for is the equivalent of one to two months of rent or mortgage expense to put you in position to never have to pay rent or mortgage again. You'll never have to pay rent or mortgage again when you buy right according to this methodology. Okay? I haven't paid a housing expense since May of 2013, family. I have not paid a mortgage payment or a rent payment out of my own pocket since May of 2013. Imagine if I could snap my fingers and all of a sudden all of your housing expense was back in your bank account. You would feel rich. You would feel abundant. You would feel blessed. That's literally how I'm trying to bless you. But if you won't allow me to, then you, you can continue to block the blessing. Right. So for those of you who have PayPal, PayPal does have PayPal credit. PayPal credit uh, is no interest payments for six months. So I only want you to do this if you know you have a financial windfall, like a bonus check from work or a tax refund or some birthday gift or something like that that is coming 
within the next six months so that you can pay it off okay so there's PayPal credit it's six months of no interest payment so you can still lock in the nine hundred and ninety three dollars savings right right now as long as you have a financial windfall coming in within the next six months to pay it off all right so that's the only reason I'm uh, letting you know about that that uh, but you can lock in the 993 that way okay so look Brandon said Julian Gordon thanks to you bro I was apprehensive at first to take your class due to the price point I thought I could have learned from YouTube University laugh out loud and retrospect you dropped too many jewels for me to count the one example saved me $1,200 by making the lenders compete it was money well spent for any new people reading this Julian is the truth good people and has a wealth of knowledge appreciate all that you do good brother and the profound impact that you make on so many so Brandon he went and invested in himself and guess what his FHA appraisal came in at $14,000 above our offer and no required repairs so he took a $2,500 investment and he multiplied that by six, almost six, automatically based on buying right, based on what I taught him. Okay. So he's already up, return on investment instantaneously. Okay. So this is the power. Now, if you continue to go at it on your own, you're going to just figure it out. Uh, I just want you to know how much it's going to cost you. So go ahead and find your rent in the left margin. Okay. Let's say your rent is fourteen hundred dollars a month you know how much that's going to cost you a year from now if i bump into a you, you a year from now you're like julian i was on your webinar but i didn't join that's going to be you're going to be i will know for a fact that you were negative seventeen thousand dollars in the hole when you didn't have to be or if i bump into you five years from now that's eighty four thousand dollars negative negative in fact you know what i need to make all these red i need to make these all red because or actually no because if you are a landlord you'll be collecting this rent if you're a landlord you'll be collecting this rent but this is from the renters perspective for those of you who are hesitating right now um, those of you hesitating right now I'm just gonna make all these red because that's literally money that you're losing some of you been rented for how long how long this is red negative gone money you'll never see again all right all I'm asking for the equivalent is one to two months of rent or mortgage expense to put you in a position to never have to pay this again. Okay? So, this is what I'm talking about. So, uh, I want to celebrate a couple people. Welcome Angela from Littleton, Massachusetts. Happy to have you. Also want to welcome um, Joy Nubia from Colleen, Texas. Another Colleen, Texas. Alright, cool. So, Demetrius is out there um, and closed on a fourplex there. That's a military town, right? So, um, for those of you who don't have $2,497 right now, um, uh, how many of you would join if I gave you a payment plan? How many would join if I gave you a payment plan? You don't have $2,497 right now. That, that is a red flag. Okay, That means that something is broken in your financial system. You're not broke, but something in your financial system is broken. Okay, Something in your financial system is broken. Right? So, for those of you who need a payment plan, what I'm offering for, or what I'm offering, is three forty nine per month for just ten months. Three forty nine per month for just ten months. Okay. So total, that's three thousand four hundred and ninety dollars. So this, the payment plan, costs more. It's a greater investment than the one pay with the one pay you save 993 but if you need to start on the payment plan that's perfectly fine if this is within your budget then you start here to get in the game get your feet wet when you do the payment plan you only get access to the first three modules immediately the rest of your modules will get dripped to you month by month by month as your payments come in okay so if this is the best option for you right now just to get you started then go ahead and do that now, for those of you who need to start on the payment plan, what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to give you uh, I'm going to give you 60 days to pay off the balance in full and still save the 9.93. Okay, what does that mean? That means that you can start right now on the 3.49 plan, and if you pay off the balance of $2,148 before the next payment comes out, you'll still save 9.93. Okay, or you do 3.49 now, 3.49 30 days from now. And then $17.99 before the next payment, third payment comes out, you'll still save the $9.93. I don't need the $9.93. I'm doing well financially. I'd rather you have it. Why do I want you to have it? Because one, 
You're going to need it for your property inspection, which is about $500, and for your appraisal, which is about $500. So I'd rather you have that money in your pocket than me have it in mine. Okay? So I'm giving you opportunity to start on the payment plan. Remember, there's only there were only 15 payment plans when we started. Okay? Start on the payment plan, right? And if you're ready to, once you get in, you get a feel for it, and you decide to pay off the balance, you'll still save the 993. Is that fair? All right, cool. Now, everybody that's here, you will also get a buddy pass. You will also get a buddy pass. You will also get a buddy pass. Okay? That means that you can bring your best friend, which is your spouse or your homie, blood, which is siblings, parents, or kids, or a business partner, whoever you're going to invest with, into the program with you for free. 100% for free. You get to bring somebody with you. Why would I do that? Because this will add an extra layer of accountability. This will add an extra layer of accountability, which will increase your chances of succeeding. When you have somebody who says, hey, let's do module five tonight. Let's look at these three properties that I found tomorrow. Right. So I'm allowing you to bring somebody in. A lot of you. How many of you are sitting in a room alone right now? How many of you are sitting in a room alone right now? See, most of you are sitting in a room alone. And this is how you've been moving through your life. And you have to ask yourself, well, why I'm not as successful as I desire is because you've been trying to do everything on your own. You're the golden child in your family. You're the only one who thinks on this level. You've been trying to do everything on your own. My question to you is who lifts you up? If everybody comes to you for guidance and support, who lifts you up? This is your opportunity to be part of a community that actually lifts you up or to bring somebody else on this journey with you. Okay? So here in the multifamily movement, we have market meetups all over the country. Right. This is in St. Louis, Baton Rouge, the Bay Area, Atlanta, Dallas, um, New Jersey. We have market meetups all over the country in all the major cities where we gather. So you're literally coming into a family for real, for real. This is not some. Yeah, this is not just some program with some online profiles that we really meet up. OK. And so this is the power of the multifamily movement. You're going to be surrounding yourself with other people who think on this level. Right. With the free buddy pass, this is Velveeta and Velvet. They're sisters, they're twin sisters. Um, and they went through the process together. Velveeta closed on her property first, and now they're working on helping Velvet close on her property. This is Victor and Michelle Dorner, their husband and wife, and they're going through the process together, staying on, on one accord financially as they plan for their future. So, what I'm going to do is for those of you who join before midnight, I'm going to give you an extra ticket to the Generational Wealth Conference for your buddy. This is a little fast action bonus for those of you who join before midnight. Okay, you get an extra ticket to the Generational Wealth Conference. After that, the ticket will be five hundred and ninety-nine dollars. So you're literally going to save five hundred and ninety-nine dollars extra uh, if you join before midnight. So it's a little fast action bonus. Please do not miss that. Please do not sign up at twelve oh one. Talking about no, um, it's a hard deadline when we run the report. When we run the report for Generational Wealth Conference, uh, if you join at twelve oh one, it won't. You won't show up. OK, so uh, if you know that there's somebody who you want to bring on this journey with you then go ahead and join and get that extra ticket for them. All right. Um, so real quick, I got some uh, extra bonuses for you. Um, and uh, the first one is Tanya Rapley's credit etiquette course. And the credit etiquette course will help you boost your credit score. Obviously, for NACA, you don't need credit. But Tanya Rapley is one of the best educators when it comes to credit. Um, and this course will help you boost your uh, credit score by 50 to 150 points. All right. So um, that comes with it and is included. You're also going to get the REI Tax Secrets uh, program that I created on how to reduce your taxes. Literally, um, real estate allows you to reduce your taxes significantly. I showed you how one property is going to allow me to save $278,000 in taxes over a quarter million dollars in taxes that I do not pay to Uncle Sam leveraging multifamily real estate. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. You do not need an LLC. You just need to do your accounting properly and it will go to your Schedule E. Then I'm going to give you my Airbnb overnight success course on how to grow your Airbnb. I built a six-figure Airbnb business. And I'm going to show you exactly how to use your multifamily units to do that. In fact, April uh, did that in Virginia Beach. And um, even in the midst of the pandemic, she was cash flowing like crazy. And um, she went on to buy another property. And what I'm most proud about is that April, after two properties, she actually retired. She joined the movement 11 23 19. She retired early on 3 31 22. Please accept this email as my formal resignation letter from material and process engineer at, um, 
after effective after two weeks. After careful consideration, I made the decision to retire early and work for myself. Thank you for the opportunities here and helping me grow. I wish you all the best in the future. So April is retired off of two properties. Okay, this is what happens when you um, buy right. I'm also going to give you the purchase of pass deal analyzer online. Uh, you'll get lifetime access to that. That's where you'll be able to analyze all your deals and tap into the real estate Rolodex in your market and the people that are there. And I'm going to give you uh, the bonus module, which is fuel it. And I'm literally going to show you step by step by step my first 10 properties, how I scaled from one to two to three, how I use the equity from number one to buy number two, how I use number two to buy number three, etc. So for those of you who already have a single family home or an existing portfolio and are struggling to scale, um, then the fuel it module will show you how to do that. So when you put everything together. Everything that uh, I'm sharing with you right now that you can get is worth $8,186. But of course, you do not have to pay that. You can join for $2,497 one time right now or $349 per month for just uh, 10 months. All right. Now, I have a two year uh, coach, uh, coach to you close support program. I do not expect it to take anybody here two years to close on their first property. Okay. The only reason I made it two years is because uh, bankruptcy, Chapter 7, 11, or 13 bankruptcy requires that you uh, 24 months after discharge before you're eligible okay, to get financed. So um, that's the only reason I made the support two years. I, uh, normally, most programs only give you 12 weeks of support. okay. Now, as a result of this length of support and this level of support, um, uh, there are no refunds for this program. There are no refunds for this program. There are no refunds for this program. Okay, um, My... I know that your return on investment will be you getting to the closing room, not you getting money back. OK, I'm here to multiply your money. Right. I showed you Brandon. He got a fourteen thousand dollar above uh, his offer appraisal. So he's already up. He's already won. OK, so that is the ultimate goal is to get you to the closing room. That is my focus for this cohort. OK, so you don't know where to start. I'm giving you the multifamily master plan A to Z game plan. You feel alone on this journey. We have our weekly doom calls. You get a free buddy pass and we have our market meetups. You're not that good at math. The purchase of past deal analyzer takes care of all of that for you. You need help with your money beyond real estate investing. That's what the generational wealth conference is for. You already bought a home. That's where the fuel up module comes in. Do I need an LLC? No, I will show you how to maximize the tax savings using the REI tax secrets uh, program. Um, prices are too high where you're at. This methodology works anywhere, but we can use Airbnb in order to increase your rents and um, your income uh, perhaps three times what you would get in rent and your credit score is uh, too low that's where you get Tanya Rapley's credit etiquette course okay so all of that is included with your membership okay and um, and look, y'all, you're literally just one deal away. This was my first property in Brooklyn, New York. I had no clue that it would lead me to where I am today. Uh, but it took that one. And once you get that first rent check, it just it does something to your brain. It changes everything. And it becomes an addiction. And so uh, somewhat of addiction. I, uh, and I won't call it an addiction. <laughs> but you'll want to get another one. You'll definitely want to get another one. And this is how I built my real estate portfolio over the past, uh, over the past nine years. And this is what I want for you. I'm just trying to get you started. Uh, to knock down that first domino so that you can work your way to wealth. So for everybody that's joined, um, this is uh, you're going to get onboarded. You're going to get your deal analyzer. You're going to start the online course, go through orientation. Um, you have our weekly deal room calls coming up and then all that information will be in your course and you'll start your first challenge. Your temporary password will be the word freedom, all lowercase. Your temporary password will be the word freedom, all lowercase. So uh, look for your login information and um, uh, Nadia, yes, I got you already. Nadia, you're good to go. All right, you are part of the 50. All right, so um, with that, uh, there is a price of procrastination right now. It's 349 per month for 10 months, or 2,497 dollars one time. Um, uh, you after that, after the timer expires or the 50 is filled up, um, the program will be 5,497 dollars with no bonuses whatsoever and that was two thousand five hundred eighty nine dollars worth of bonuses so you have until the group fills up to 50 or until the timer expires on that page whichever one comes first you have that opportunity to join um, but uh, we're gonna close enrollment by Friday Friday or once the uh, cohort is full okay it, whichever comes first so those are your options to join um, for everybody that's here and can hear my voice right now you will all get 
the uh, you will all be getting my list of down payment assistance programs organized by state um, sent to you via email tomorrow. Uh, it'll all be in the appendix of the Beginner's Guide to Multifamily Real Estate Investing. You're going to get the PDF ebook version of it. So look out in your email for that. This is my way of saying thank you for showing up. We're literally here over three hours and you are still here. And so this is my way of saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. I hope this knowledge has transformed your life. Uh, I hope it was one of the best three hours uh, of a webinar or just on the Internet in general. Um, I, I put this presentation together um, to create transformation, not just to transfer information. And I hope that it's done that for you. All right. So with that, I'm going to hold space to take a few questions. Um, I'm going to hold space to take a few questions. Any questions that you have, go ahead and type them in to chat. I'm going to answer uh, maybe uh, between five and ten, depending on how long they are, and we will call it a night. All right. So if you have any questions, let me know. Again, I'm so grateful that you were here. Um, so grateful, so grateful, so grateful. And whatever you decide, I wish you the best on your journey. Uh, I am the number one conductor on the Above Ground Railroad. There's nobody that I know of that has helped more people close on multifamily real estate than myself. Um, I know that if you trust me to lead you, I will help you get there faster, safer, and easier. Um, but whatever you decide, I wish you the best on your journey. I wish you the best on your journey, whatever you decide. That's my hope and intention. We need to close this wealth gap. Um, we need to get rent and our housing expense off the books. We need to get our mortgages, single family mortgages, off the books. And we can do that by buying right and providing quality, affordable housing for other people. All right. So I'm going to take a few questions. And that be it. All right. Um, how much is the program? All the details are on uh, on that page. Um, do, 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 do. It's $2,497 one time or $349 per month for 10 months okay if you pay off if you pay off the balance early you'll still save the 993 do you need an LLC no uh, you do not need an LLC till you have at least 10 doors FHA NACA and VA do not finance LLCs they only finance individuals so you do not need to get into advanced strategies yet okay um, the program, this, this does not interfere with your work schedule. It's only 30 minutes a day for uh, 30 minutes a day or four hours per week. It's 30 minutes a day or four hours per week. This does not interfere with your work schedule, family. Uh, Janelle, 12 months left on my Chapter 7 discharge before I'll be eligible. Cool. Janelle, come learn the game. Start building your real estate Rolodex and everything like that now. So the moment that that discharge is released, we can get going. All right. And lock in this price. Okay. Do you work on with flipping homes? No, we're about we're not into fast money. This is about long term wealth. Flipping homes is just flipping homes is not the strategy we're employing here. Rosemary email support at the freedom school dot com. Jasmine, how do I use the webinar worksheet without paying for any subscriptions? Uh, Jasmine, the webinar worksheet was a downloadable PDF. Um, you can just, uh, you should have been filling it out while we were going. I do not give the workbook. If you're talking about the workbook, I do not give that away. Um, no, this is only available to my students. So, um, yeah, that's not free, family. Can I expand on cash flow? Cash flow is what's left over. It's rent minus principal, interest, taxes, insurance, capex, repairs, or vacancy rate. So what's left over after you pay all those things is your cash flow. The ebook will be sent via email tomorrow. Okay. For those of you who are here, it will be sent via email tomorrow. Michaela, uh, I would consider NACA right now. I will consider NACA. Mosey, welcome to the family. Happy to have you. All right. Um, if you have credit over 750, is it best to use NACA? Or one of your two lenders, um, Gigi. I'm gonna put you through uh, my lenders first. 
my lenders first and then you'll be able to compare I encourage you to do both simultaneously and then compare run the numbers and compare which one is going to be best for you okay Kimberly um, uh, I don't know what the count is um, I don't know if spots are gonna fill up by Friday I believe that they will um, so just keep checking just keep checking every single day if you're waiting uh, to get paid on Friday just keep checking every day okay all right, Janelle, I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, there's, I think we're in the 30s right now out of 50. I think we're in the mid-30s, okay? But there's still hundreds of people here right now. So, um, And uh, many people are going to commit before midnight um, to get the extra bonus ticket. Um, John, this is not for new construction or uh, this is not for new construction. Um, we have an advanced program called How to Buy the Block for that. Leslie, can I start the monthly payment uh, subscription and pay the full once I get the money? Yes, Leslie, that's what I shared. You can do that. So start on that payment plan. Okay, NACA will help you get financed. NACA does not teach you the real estate game or how to find deals. So NACA is great in that it will help you get financed. It does not teach you what I'm going to teach you in the multifamily master plan. Okay, I just want to make that distinction. Financing is not the hardest part of the equation. It's finding the deals that's the hardest part of the equation. Okay. When you own your building, do you have to be a landlord as well? No, you can hire a property manager. Property managers take 6 to 10% of rents. And uh, yeah. And so then it becomes 100% passive. So you don't have to actively manage the building. Okay. I don't manage my buildings in Louisiana or Oakland or Brooklyn. All right. Two more questions. Uh, what if I'm workers comp right now if, if you're on fixed income right now um, I can't answer that question I need to know what city you're in and how much is your fixed income like three thousand dollars of fixed income is not gonna work in Brooklyn New York right it might work in Boise Idaho but not in Brooklyn New York so um, fixed income is okay it just depends on how much it is and what market you're looking to buy in okay all right all right all right family um this has been absolutely amazing i appreciate each and every one of you um again for you being here look out for your email um will you send out a replay yes i'll send out a replay i know some of you want to share it with your significant other or a potential buddy i'll send that out um i'll send that out as well as i'll send out the ebook for you being here so keep your eyes out on your email tomorrow and um and i just appreciate each and every one of you for showing up um you being here says a lot about your desire um to make this happen and i know with confidence that i can make it happen for you a lot faster uh so that you aren't continuously paying rent or mortgage and that's how i'm going to save you money and make you money at the same time through multifamily real estate investing all right all the instructions for Buddy Pass are in orientation. So follow those instructions. Okay? Yes, email support at thefreedomschool.com if you have any more questions. With that, I wish you all a great evening, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace. All right, y'all. Appreciate you, YouTube. Catch you later, all right? Much love. Peace.